we took our signature sandwich and pumped up the base. With bacon and cheese, it's the new signature club. Remixed by Zaxby's. Jen Ritchie and her staff at Everything Pines can show you all the Southern Pines, Pinehurst, Aberdeen, and Bass have to offer. A trusted real estate professional with over a decade of experience. Each client receives a customized marketing plan featuring professional photography, drone footage, and floor plans designed just for them. For more information, go to everythingpinespartners.com and check out one of the hundreds of reviews. Everything Pines, showcasing the Sand Hills. Legacy Commercial and Residential Construction welcomes you to the NFHS Network's Game of the Week. Brought to you by New Image Media. Welcome to Cameron, North Carolina. I'm Kristen Lambert. This is Jerry Chalmers. Yes, Nate sir. Cochran getting the night off. You had one last week, man. Come on, man. Yeah, well, you know. Yeah, you know. Conference play starts tonight in the 34 East, <laughs> 3A, 4A. Lee County on the road at 4-0, and coming down to Cameron, hosted by Union Pines, 2-2. Two and two. Mm -hmm. Stop and go. They've looked really good two weeks. Yeah. Not so good the other two weeks. A couple of, couple of games they'd like to have back. But uh, Union Pines always got good ball players down Always, there. always. Well-coached team. Coach Justin, Jason Trisdale uh, picked up the mantle. This is his second year. Uh, we like what he's doing. I've seen these. I've seen these guys in action a couple of times, but if we're being honest, they've got to play a close to perfect game with Lee County coming in here today, right, Jerry? I, I, I agree. Luke, like I kind of said earlier, Lee County would have to unravel, you know. And, and Union Pines, they they have a chance. Let's just say any given Sunday now. So it's also any, any given, given Friday, Friday night. All right. So All right. you know, but hey. If they both run their A games, we just, we're bound to see a good football game. Okay, the one thing Union Pines has got, they've got a couple of game-breaking players on offense. Mm -hmm. Ethan Biggs, the junior, he's been starring here since he was a freshman. 1,400 yards total offense his first two years. He comes in, he's the feature of the offense. But there's a guy not far behind him in Brandon Ortega who's right. kind of been a revelation for this Union Pines offense. So they've got some guys, if they can find ways to get them in space or they can make a, game in the, make a play in the kicking game, if you give them a step, They'll get going. Hey, Biggs is a lightning bolt. Man. Ethan Biggs is, is good. Is you haven't seen Brandon Ortega. Yet. I have not. He's I have not. Good too. On defense, Union Pines, it's like they cut them with a cookie cutter down mm -hmm. here. You've got big, intelligent guys on defense. This defense led by the conference leader in sacks, Damon Bremer, senior defensive end. That's a big young man. I had a chance to spend some time with him the other day. Looking like Jason Momoa. <laughs> He's a great big kid, great yeah. hair. And just looks like he'll snap you in two. Yeah. He's going to be looking to get to the quarterback. Lee County, senior quarterback, Mark Schlesinger, off to a rocky start. He's back. Then, as, see, as he seemed to get it going, suffered injury, was out last week. Yeah. Jack Martin, the sophomore, stepped into his shoes up in Virginia when they played Mecklenburg County. Schlesinger is a full go, 100% tonight. Yes, sir. He'll be there. This offense, though, begins and ends with B.J. Brown, Agreed. junior tailback, Off to a great start. Yes, sir. That close yes, to sir. 200 yards per game. He yes, comes sir. in with 799 through four games. B.J. Brown, second in the conference in, touch, in touchdowns, leads the conference in rushing. You think he can put up 150 regardless of the, of the regardless opponent the rest of, of the way. B.J., I'm sure, would tell you he can put up 200 mm -hmm. on anybody the rest of the way. He'll be looking to pad that total tonight. Um, this Union Pines team is going to have to challenge Lee County mm -hmm. with what they do on offense. Yes. Lee County loves to run the football. If Union Pines can stuff that, their linebacking core and that secondary, they're heady, they're smart, they, they, they know what they see in front of them. They can create some havoc if Lee County has to put the ball in the air a lot. I, I agree. And I say, like, going back to what you talked about earlier with B.J. Brown, Lee County's offensive line, hey, man, I – I've watched them over the past, I'm going to say, eight years. My son was here playing. This is a good offensive line. That's why I also say that he can gain, he can get at least 150, 150 a game. And now Union Pines, hey, if they got a shot tonight, they're going to have to penetrate their offensive line. They're going to have, like you said, they're going to have to stop the run game and force Lee County to pass, which we have not seen a lot of consistent passing from Lee County throughout the whole entire conference. As we talked before, you said what? 
the leading the leading score scoring receiver is uh, Jaden Hill. Jaden Hill at Lee County leads how many? the conference. Three touchdowns. Three touchdowns. Like, you know, that speaks a lot about the run game now. We're run heavy in this conference right now. And, and Lee County, speaking of Jaden Hill, has six sophomores that play exclusively on varsity mm -hmm. or have played exclusively varsity up to this point. Three of them are not dressed tonight. Wow. We'll talk about this as yeah. time goes on. Some, some meaningful pieces out. Schlesinger, coach says he's 100%. We'll see as the night Boyer's on. If he's not, that creates a real problem. Yes, sir. Because Jack Martin played JV last night. Yeah. The eight-quarter rule will come into effect or, and, and have an impact. So we got to keep an eye on that. Jaden Hill is a young man, sophomore receiver, leads the conference in touchdowns, all, even though it's only three. He was meant to be the number one receiver to be a focal point in the offense. If Lee County can can work the passing game a little bit, that'll be one of the things they try to accomplish is to expand his role. Mm -hmm. A lot of weapons. They just haven't necessarily figured out how to get him there. We'll see Kendall Morris on offense who's explosive. Uh, Peoples, McKendall. I mean, there's all kinds of guys that if they get the ball into their hands, they can make it go. But Agreed. what we've seen thus far has been an awful lot of B.J. Brown. Yes, sir. Um, and they are pretty reliant on him. We'll see how it plays tonight, one way or the other, regardless of what happens on the scoreboard, on the field, anything. We are in one of the best venues in the region. I man. love coming to Cameron. This is a nice field. Man. It really is. Down it's a nice field. Woods. Always have a good crowd here, and their band, second to none in the region. Yeah. One of the better. Yeah. They'll tell you they're one they of the are. better bands in the state. They, they, don't, are. they don't hesitate. They, they are. They are rolling out a brand new program tonight. Can't wait to see them. That just adds to the yes, to the sir. aura. Um, so we're hoping for a good football game tonight. Jerry, any last thoughts before we break out? Uh, B.J. Brown, <laughs> two thirty-five. 235. 235. 235. 235. You know what? If you're going to go, let's go 234 and a half <laughs> as the over-under. I'm going to take the under. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to take the under. Okay. I'm going to take the under. We'll, we'll, we'll bet a soda on that. There we go. All right. Thanks for joining the pregame show. We're brought to you this week by... Who's the pregame sponsor this week? Man, I thought you were not supposed to ask questions. Who's on the, the pregame <laughs> sponsor this week? Zaxby's is Zaxby's the pregame sponsor, there. of course. Hey, the chicken of sandwich. Course. All right, and Zaxby's also the coach, uh, the uh, coach's show sponsor. We'll see them Monday and Tuesday with uh, coaches shows for Lee County and yes, Moore sir. County, Monday and Tuesday respectively. We will see you after the break with some football here in Cameron, North Carolina. Lee County Yellow Jackets on the road against the Union Pines Vikings. We're about ready to kick this thing off. We'll see you after the break. We have a home at 225 Safeberry Place. Brain. We have automobiles. Brain. I have golf clubs. Brain. We have a trampoline. Brain. I have jewelry. Brain. For your home, auto, life, all your insurance needs, give us a call at 919-774-4440. Come see us in person, 1720 West Everett Drive in Sanford, right beside Dexas Steakhouse. North Carolina Farm Bureau is a proud sponsor of Scholar Athlete of the Week Award. All right, welcome back to Cameron, the NFHS Game of the Week. Union Pines hosts the Lee County Yellow Jackets. Yellow Jackets come in at 4-0. Your captain for the Vikings tonight, We're going to take it down to the field as they introduce the football team individually, which is how this ought to be done. We'll let you take a look. Jerry, this is what high school football is supposed to look like on the front side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love it. You got the smoke machine going. The band's out there uniformed up. I'm loving this. You know, Down on the far end, Lee County without as much to do as Union Pines is about to come out onto the field. Wearing the, the road whites today, Jerry. We don't, yeah. we, don't see the, we don't see those much. We don't see the white with blue pants very often. No, we don't see those much. I'll tell you what. I'm ready to see some good fog. You, you know what? That was one of the best chicken sandwiches I've eaten. <laughs> it was one of the best I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm glad you hey, enjoyed man. it like that. It was good. That's fantastic. Chick-fil-A. Can you go wrong with Chick-fil-A? Zaxby's is better by far. I agree. But you can't, you know, especially that sauce, the Zaxby's sauce. Man, that Zaxby's sauce is serious, Chris. I know. It is, a, it is a fantastic, fantastic compliment to anything. So, Jerry, we were on hand at Overhills when Lee County went down there. Yeah. And prior to the game, brand-new head coach down there. Well, second-year head coach. 
told you yep. when you asked, what do you think about Lee County? And he said, they're in the way. They're in the way. I promise you, having spent a lot of time with Coach Jason Trisdale here at Union Pines, much more respectful approach. I agree. I listened to him in the interview um, at the halftime show the other last week. Who was that against South Granville? Yes. Yes. And he, he, he spoke very highly of Lee County. So there's a lot of respect there. Well, you know, he looks at what is going on at Lee County in terms of the, the more holistic um, football program mm -hmm. and the interface with the youth and the junior highs mm -hmm. um, and how they've grown that and how it's become a year-round thing in the weight room and the rest of that. That's what he wants to achieve here at Union Pines. Uh, agreed. And a lot of respect for Coach, for Coach Bordeaux. And he makes an interesting observation, Coach Trisdale does. His position is that he thinks this is a year that perhaps the class of this conference mm -hmm. is the three A schools and that Scotland and Lee County may have a leg up on Richmond, Pinecrest, and Hope County. I agree. Your thoughts? I agree. Fair enough. I, I, I have not seen enough in Richmond of what we may have seen a couple years ago. And with with that being said, with with not being able to see Richmond as, as a powerhouse as they were, I mean I I just don't see it. So definitely three A, three A will run this conference this year. Wow, Scotland, Orly County. So if you're looking into the future, your feeling is that the Scotland Lee County game. Yep. Yes. When when is that game? October twenty first is the de facto oh, conference man. championship game. I'm going to miss it. No, you're not. Where are you at? I'll be in Jackson, Mississippi. Oh, that's right. You'll be traveling with yeah. Campbell University to yeah. go play Deion Sanders University. Yeah. For <laughs> All right. For their homecoming, man. Ooh, that's okay. a tough one. That's going to be a tough one. De definitely one to see. Tell you what, Chris. I'm ready to see some high school football, man. I didn't see none last week, so I'm, I'm definitely ready to see some high school football. I'm with that 100%. This is the longest intro I've seen in a minute. <laughs> Lee County rushes out onto the field. Not a, not a huge number of travelers. Yeah. And that's only, you know, this is like the third Lee County school down here in Cameron. Yeah. About 20 Basically. minutes from my house. 15 minutes or so, maybe 20 from the Lee County border. Oh, yeah. Just across the line. A lot of sort of overlap with these two communities, with Cameron and Sanford. And I'm always surprised when those away bleachers, when we come to Union Pines, aren't yeah. packed. Yeah. This is right down the road. I like the energy. I, I'm, I'm ready to see how. <laughs> I'm ready to see how Mark starts out. Tell you what, look at Union Pines, man. This almost look, look it almost looks like a college. Here they intro. come. Hey man, Union that, Pines nice, Vikings. Man. Running out onto the field led by junior tailback Ethan Biggs. And it's youth football night here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, man, they're, they're the next generation of play of, 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 of high school. And what did I say just hey, a man. couple minutes ago? That's Feeder what programs. Coach Trisdale trying to foster here. Feeder programs, man. And I tell you, this, 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 since we're talking about middle schools just a little bit, I mean, if you, if you go down and you watch some of their games, man, it is some players coming from there. Sandley, Wesley, Eastley. Eastley has been a little slighted, you know, with a couple of things going on with uniform issues so hey man if, if you know anybody that's willing to help East Lee send it out there to him East Lee Junior High with a brand East new Lee, head coach yes, Darnell sir. Prince brand good new. friend of yours yes sir and look they need all the support they can get that's kind of been the redheaded stepchild of yeah, the three man. junior highs yeah, in town man. We with gotta, regard to support in, in yeah, football you know. but uh Mr. Prince, Coach Prince not going to take anything less than going to change that culture over there like hey going to change that culture like over it, there like man it. Speaking of changing the culture, Union Pines a squad, you know, it's a smaller school relative to the rest of the conference. Yeah. Second smallest school in the conference, right about the same size as Southern Lee. So they're facing bigger schools in yeah. terms of competition each year. 
And just the size of the program, number of kids in the program, number of kids that they can dress, has been an issue for years. Do you know how many freshmen they have in the, G- in the JV? Hey, Take a stab. man. 46 freshmen in the JV program. And, and bounce that off of Lee County. That's about double what Lee County has. Yeah, I think Lee, Senior dressed, Lee County dressed 22 kids last night. Union Pines last night dressed almost 60. Wow. So – there's no telling how many of those young men are going to stick in the program, but yeah. it's a fair bet that's, yeah. Yeah, that's nice. that this program is going to get bigger. When you get that kind of buy-in, that says a lot about the staff. It says a lot about the support around the program. Yeah. All right, we're going to kick this thing off. Hernandez for Lee County doing the kicking duties. A long line of awesome, amazing. Man. College-level kickers coming yeah. out of Lee County yeah. and Southern Lee. Hey, can we say Trey Underwood is the GOAT kicker at Lee County? At Lee County, we can say Man. that. Trey, Trey Underwood, one of the one of the and more successful, prolific kickers in North Carolina history. History, yeah. Yeah, man. Hernandez, I had a chance to spend some time with him this weekend. No shortage of confidence. Oh, yeah. That's a high spinner. And it's fielded at about the 30-yard line, and here it comes. Dropped it about the 32-yard line. Union Pines will take over first and 10. Nice return. I feel it was there. Union Pines has changed the offense. A few years ago, they were pass heavy. Lonnie Cox brought that screen-based system in here. They would tunnel and bubble you to death. To death. To death. Yeah. I mean, they would run it every play <laughs> if they could get away with it. They run a wide zone here, and the coaching staff feels like it's a better fit given that they have to match up with bigger schools and bigger bodies. Yeah. This alleviates some of the pressure on those uh, on those offensive linemen. However, not a whole lot of different things that you do out of the wide zone. So if you can stop this base offense, it can be a problem. And nice cutback by the runner. He'll have positive yardage out across the 35. So I know you mentioned earlier Lee County was missing three. Who are those three, Chris? Ronnie Hooker is out tonight. Mm. Big part of the defense right there. And Auburn Griffin is out tonight. Oh. And That's a tough one. Dark is out tonight. Okay. Okay. Those are the three sophomore gotcha. varsity players, and it takes a special talent level to play varsity as a sophomore at League. Oh, yeah. All right. Finkelstein, the senior quarterback, throws it. He's got Ethan Biggs. Ethan Biggs is electric. And makes a couple men miss and has 11 out across the 45-yard line. One of the many ways they will attempt to get the ball into Big's hands throughout the night. A real dual, well, not even dual purpose. I mean, he's a multi-purpose guy. But the bottom line is if you get in the ball in space, he can make you look silly. Yeah. And if he gets behind you, you can probably turn the lights out. Oh, yeah. I agree with you there. Interesting formation tonight to start this ball game. Biggs not lining up a tailback. He started each of the first four games as the tailback. He's lining up at receiver to start. And instead, at tailback is number 32, Holden Thomas, or excuse me, Russ Shaper, um, who can play a little bit of tailback, a different style runner. Uh, He'll get downhill and try and run you over. We'll see Holden Thomas, number 34, tailback tonight. Um, Finkelstein, senior quarterback, can run the ball himself a little bit. There's three runners coming in sort of at about that 150, 180-yard mark for okay. Union Pines tonight. Tell you what, man, if, if, if Union Pines can attack the running game as South Granville did in the second half of that game, it can cause some trouble. I'm not saying that they have that, that style of back that South Granville had, but it showed that Lee Senior's defense, Lee County's defense, can be penetrated, especially with a good run game. All right, second and four coming up here. Nope, third, excuse me, third and three. My, my mistake. The chains are – chains cross me up there, Jerry. <laughs> Big play right here. you got to think this is probably four down ter- – or perhaps four down territory for Union Pines. Union Pines may be the best punter in the, uh, in the conference. Noah Johns. They don't want to have to make a decision. They'd like to pick up first down right here. And we've got a pre-snap flag. No play clocks on the field. No, 
false start. No play clocks on the field tonight, which is always a source of frustration. When you've got them here and got them turned on, I don't understand why they don't use them. Yeah. All right, so third and three becomes third and eight, and now probably a little bit different philosophy for Union Pines. Backed up on the wrong side of the 50. Union Pines not lacking size on that offensive line either, I tell you. No, the word has been down here at Union Pines for years. There's a pass across the middle, oh, and that's picked, picked off. going the other way. And that is number one, Kendall Morris with the big play for the Lee County defense, and he will bring it all the way back to the 45 of Union Pines. Things were going really well <coughs> until the false start got Union Pines off schedule. Mark Schlesinger, number eight, senior quarterback. First year as a starter at quarterback. He, he was a starter on defense up until last year. Yes, sir. Safety. B.J. Brown, number seven, one of the more prolific running backs in the state. We've gotten to see some amazing running backs Man. so far this year. Yes, sir. All right. Brown with carry. He's to the second level. And spits through there. Is going to have a first down 10 on the carry. Maybe 11. All right, Brown comes in just shy of averaging 200 yards a game through four. 799 through four games. You made a prediction that by the time he leaves Lee County, he will have the career rushing mark. He's got a lot of work to it's, do. It's to, a lot to of work to do. 5,100 5, yards one season. Uh, and that's just kind of a roundabout number. Uh, bobbled and brought in by Kendall Morris. He'll have about half of what they needed for a first down. Kendall Morris, a guy they've got to figure out a way to get the ball to man, more often. I, 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 watching him when he was younger coming from Southern League, man, he was tough. Still is. Yes, sir. Still is, and it says a lot about him that he's willing to transition and, and play primarily defense at this point. As a senior, making taking his first reps on defense in high school mm -hmm. and really kind of the number one corner back there for Lee County. All right, Brown on second down to the second level. Well, I'll tell you what. Rowland hits the sideline, and he's forced out of bounds inside the 10-yard line. I like how Brown doesn't – he doesn't waste a lot of energy. And as we all know, he, he, he moves a little slow. But when he got that ball in his hand, man, he's electric. He glides. Never seems to slow down <laughs> as he moves laterally. It's uh, <laughs> silky smooth. Yeah. All right. First and goal inside the REMAX red zone for Lee County. Schlesinger getting the signals from the sideline. Coach Steve Bordeaux, fifth year at Lee County. Mm -hmm. Playoffs every year, including a trip to the state finals back in 2019. A great start. Really is a good start. We'll get two for Brown on that carry. Coach Bordeaux last year was forced into duty calling both offense and defense. Um, was a little concerned about it, but liked it yeah. so much he decided he's going to continue to do yeah. it. Uh, so he'll call the offense and the defense. You're not going to find that very often. Um, has a staff around him that he can trust to kind of take care of everything else, though, and that's a really important. All right. Schlesinger fakes, pulls. Now he's looking to throw, slings it oh, back nice. in the end zone, and that is a touchdown for Logan Walker. Uh, there is a flag on the play. Let's see what we've got. Got to think it's a hold, right, Jerry? It's, it's got to be a hold. That was a nice pass by Session. It really was. That. Yeah, on the run. All right. Hands to the face by Lee County. One of those one of those offensive linemen looks like he got up into the I know they get they got a man downfield. Interesting. All right. Somebody got off and running and got downfield. That'll take six off the board, make it second and goal from the eleven for the Jackets. Mm. Didn't see that, man. I didn't either. <laughs> hey. I didn't either, but, you know, Schlesinger pumped and kept it, pumped yeah. and kept it. I don't think that was necessarily a designed roll as long as it took. Now, there's a pop pass to Kendall Morris. I'm trying to get to the edge on the left side. Down to the 10 uh, and breaks through a tackle. He'll be stopped just short of the 5. So, third and goal from the 6 coming up. There's another flag. Now. That's a, well, here we go. We'll see what's going on. This is going to be a long night. Yep. I don't remember the last time I saw a pop pass in this offense. Hmm? It's been a while. 
They, well, they ran it to Tyreek McKinnon. Hey, I was going to say, yeah. in years gone by, this yeah. year, though, I don't think I've seen one. And first. you're right. All right, so we got. <laughs> trying to make sense of the official's hand signals to the sideline. I don't know what he's. They're going to decline. A little bit of confusion here. All right. The illegal shift. And. Decline the penalty. They decline the penalty, so it'll be third and goal from. They're going to mark that at about the six yard line. 8.06 to go in the first quarter. Lee County looking for their first score of the night. DJ Brown in at tailback Schlesinger. Bark signals, takes the snap, hands to Brown. Brown up the middle, dancing, sliding, gets sideways he's down near do the goal line. Now here comes that scrum, and he's going to be really close to the goal line, but they're going to mark him about a yard and a half short. Fourth down coming up, and here comes JoJo Jennings, all-conference linebacker into the game. Can you guess what's coming? I, well, <laughs> hey. You know, they bring him in, and they can either they can either yeah. run him ahead of Brown yeah. and let him knock somebody out, or they can hand the ball to, to JoJo. Uh, eventually, I think we'll start to see an option look out of this. All right, two tailback set for the first time for Lee County. That's going to be to Jennings. Jennings stopped. Good job by Union Pines, and they You're stuff him. No, Union not Pines in. knows hey. they're smart. They're a smart football team. That's nice. And they know your tendencies. That's and nice. That's one of the risks you run when you go when you're so specific yes, with sir. formations. They keyed on Jennings and never let him get any forward momentum. And we we don't see it very often, but Jennings stopped in his tracks, and that is a turnover on downs. So Vikings will have it. They got 99 yards to go, but uh, early momentum. Swing in favor of the Union Pines Vikings. Unexpected. And now hey. you got to keep from getting a safety here. They got it there, packed in tight. Finkelstein under center. Good hands. Got to get out of the end zone and going to get to the edge. Now oh. dance backwards. Probably don't want to do that. Biggs oh. takes a step back and is really close to the goal line. They're going to give forward progress to the one. Second down and 10 coming from literally within the shadow of their own goal post. This is where Ronnie Hooker would definitely be in the game. Ronnie Hooker, sophomore, he's one of the hardest hitting kids out there on that field. He's not out there tonight, but I tell you what, he's laid some wood this year. Well, this is a, this is a, a, a down and distance field position that, that plays to Lee County's strengths. Yes. That linebacker core, great playing downhill when they're playing against the run. Quarterback's going to keep it, just get out of, from away from the goal line. That'll get out more yardage than they probably thought they could, could get there. They're out to the six. Bring third and five here. Clock inside seven and a half minutes to go in the first half. Good energy here tonight. I like to see the, I, I like to see the little kids out there, the kids cheerleader. Something my daughter would love. Speaking of my daughter, Your daughter, Chris, Queen. Squ speaking of the Queen. Queen. Little Miss Tiny, Lee County Regional Fair. And that was her first pageant first ever, pageant right? First ever. Wow. Lee County going to give them a free one here or really close. Yeah, I think they were needed six. Lee County's going to give them five. Is a little movement there by the defensive line. Somebody hopped into the neutral and zone. And it looks like it's oh, a wait Union a Pines. Right. Well, they did. They, they were coerced. Uh -oh. They were tricked, Jerry. Oh, yeah, definitely. All right, so moving on the offensive line. My apologies, Jacket fans. <laughs> so this makes it a little more complicated. Third and long now down around their own end. You run something conservative here, or do you try to suck up those linebackers to go over the top? I don't you know where you'd sneak anybody out from this alignment. They are tight in there. You got to get out the end zone. All right, well, Union Pine is going to talk about it. Coach Trisdale wants to talk it over. Like Offense coordinator Ryan Giggy from up on the roof is on in his, in his ear, and we'll see what they come up with after these breaks. We have a home at 225 Safeberry Place. Brain. We have automobiles. Brain. Brain. I have golf clubs. Bring it. We have a trampoline. Bring it. I have jewelry. Bring it. For your home, auto, life, 
all your insurance needs, give us a call at 919-774-4440. Come see us in person, 1720 West Everett Drive in Sanford, right beside Dex Steakhouse. North Carolina Farm Bureau is a proud sponsor of the Scholar Athlete of the Week. And we are back as Union Pines is pent back in the, their own end zone. Chris, I tell you what, I don't know if I – I don't like that position at all, not even a little bit. I mean, if, if, you, if you go to punt, Lee County definitely can send quite a few to go after that punt. It's almost a bad position to get the ball right there in the turnover of downs. Well, here we go, Ficklestein under center. Hands to Biggs. Biggs around. No, he fakes, and he is dropped. He, oh, my and goodness. there it is. Loses his balance. I think he was untouched, stumbled in the end zone, and that's a safety. I don't even know how you score that. Who gets credit for the safety, Jerry? The closest man to him? <laughs> First guy to come touch him while he's down? That's a tough, that's a tough break for Union you? Pines. I'll tell you, that's a tough break for Union Pines, but it's not the worst outcome. No. It could have because been you turn it, it over or you get blocked punt in the end zone. So yeah. you take two, now you're going to kick it off field position. Um, but a, a, not the way you wanted to, that third down to go. Tell you what, I'm looking looking from up here at the booth. I'm looking at 22, Damon Brenner. I told you. <laughs> what? That is a big man. Man. Hey, he's a nice-sized kid, man. He is a big man. He's 6'2". They list him at 220. A 235. He is a he is a stout young man. He looks like an athlete. And an ama- let me tell you something. I'm not just throwing this out there. Yeah. An amazingly intelligent football player. I can believe it. We had a conversation on the air. We had a conversation off the air. Just a very intelligent young man. I told him I don't know where you're going to play college football. Yeah. But I'm more interested in where you're going to coach high school football after you get done <laughs> in college. Very astute young oh, man. Oh yeah. He was the Union Pines play, defensive player of the week last week. Okay. You get a Saint Paul? Uh, uh, yes. Yeah. And like I said, leads the conference in sacks, comes in with six sacks. Here's a stat for you. You know I love to pull the stats out, right? Oh, yeah. Bremer comes into the game with six stats or six sacks. That is the total equal to the four leading sackers for Lee County. Lee County paced by uh, Tawalotu. Phillips uh-huh. and Prince Lamison, both of whom have two. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. And there's a flag now. Oh. All right. All that work from Kendall Morris, whose eyes get big as pie plates when he figures out that they're kicking it to him. I don't understand why anybody does. <laughs> With Kendall Morris and BJ Brown back deep, I think I'd kick it out of bounds every Definitely time. Would. Morris there tracked down before he scored, but it was all for naught. There's a hold at around the 45-yard line, and they'll walk this thing back. I know Coach Bordeaux was not having the start he wants to with these penalties. Nope, and it's a, it's a, a theme we've seen before. South yes. Granville, they got out of there with yes. 14 penalties, and those 14 penalties almost flipped that game around at the end. I tell you. Got to clean that up because if it doesn't bite you this week, it'll eventually get you. It's going to get you. It's definitely going to get you. Definitely like what I've seen in Mark, the first set of downs, though. Being mobile, he's not limping. No, he does look like he's full go. There's no giddy up, no hitch in his step. Um, We'll keep an eye on the game closest to us as Southern Lee hosts Richmond. Oh, yeah. Richmond out to a rough start. Southern Lee looking to shock the world and get a W there. All right, B.J. Brown gets one that time. First time they've really bottled him up. Second and nine coming up for the Jackets. Inside seven minutes to go. Still scoreless here in Cameron on campus at Union Pines. And if anybody from the Union Pine staff is watching, thank you. You guys are always so gracious when we show up out here. It's a fun place to be, and you guys make it that much better with your hospitality. Big words there, Chris. I'm just saying. Oh, yeah. All right, here's the screen. That is it's number four. That's Logan Walker, who had the touchdown taken off the board earlier. He thinks he's the fastest of the Jackets. Might be, might find some guys that would argue with him, but – uh. They might not argue with him to his face because he might challenge him to the race. <laughs> Logan Walker can go. He did sure can, Picks man. Picks up the first down out to the 45. Chris, you know we like to give updates, especially um, 
Even though Middle Creek's in another conference, we keep them kind of close. We but, do. But Middle Creek right now down 21-0 mm. to Holly Springs. Mm. Oh, Brown trips in the backfield, can't get going, loses a couple there. Footing, footing is an issue out there tonight, yeah, Jerry. And I was out on the field. It's not like it's a, you know, it's not like it's wet or That's anything. Definitely what it looks like. All right, Lee County out there in their familiar spread. They go one wide right and whoa. Got a got a head start there on the defensive line. 71 we don't have in our roster. So we also got Scotland 7-0 over Hope County right now in the first half, first quarter. What what a move. BJ Brown, man, with the Ooh. with the next gen <laughs> move. What a move. He definitely doesn't look like he's 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 losing a step, Chris. I tell you that. I don't see none of that in him. Great kid, great athlete, great baseball player as well. Yeah, the question around Lee County is which sport is he better at? Um, no good answer yet. There's B.J. Brown. He's pretty good at football. Here we go. There's 10 more. We'll give him 12 by the time he's tackled there. That's the that's the play made famous by A.J. Boulware, who swung by yeah. the swung by the booth. That was this that was the bread and butter of this Bordeaux offense the first two years with A.J. Boulware toting the rock. Oh yeah. 4,000 plus yards in two yard two years on that play. All right, Schlesinger from the gun. Lee County starting to move pretty consistently, and now we've got movement again, another pre-snap penalty. These officials, <laughs> no joke, <laughs> no joke. Hey, Amen. If they don't, I, I, you know, with officials, if they don't call it, you're mad. When they call it a lot, you're mad too. So, hey. True that. All right, offsides on Union Pines. They can ill afford that. They don't want to make it any easier for Lee County. Lee County, of course, got down to the one-yard line that first time out, and Union Pines stoned them there. Oh, yeah. I don't think Union Pines wants to make a habit of that. All right, here's a snap. Oh, and there's another pre-snap call, and this is getting old really fast. Ball start. So we're going to go back from first 10 to first and five, back to first and 10. Jerry, five years with Coach Bordeaux at the helm, we've not seen penalties like this be noteworthy yeah. consistently. Yeah. What's going on? Well, you don't have a lot of you don't have a lot of seniors. Okay. You know? I, I just want to say as far as Lee County, you don't have a lot of Here comes pressure. Schlesinger spins oh, out nice of move. It. Now he's got room to run. Oh, and he's yeah. walked down. Nice pursuit nice there. Pursuit. Brings nice. Schlesinger down. Now that was Christopher Gilbert, one of these senior linebackers. I made a statement to you before we came on the air. Yep, you did. I'm not sure this Union Pines group of linebackers isn't better than Lee County. And Lee County, we always think about Lee County, they're synonymous kind of with, you know, that front seven. Yeah. This group of linebackers for Union Pines pretty doggone good. Gilbert, the leader of that group at middle linebacker. All right, so second and 11. Brown again. Brown's. Out to the outside. He's and got there's seven. Go. There's six. And going to be into the end zone for six. That is 30 yards on the touchdown for B.J. Brown. And it never looked like he even got to full speed. Chris, I think I'm going to win. I'm, I'm just going to say will. that. Maybe you will. Let's see, 234 and a half was the over-under. Yeah. All right. I think he's right almost at 100 right now. Well, let me let me do some ciphering when we go to the break after the uh, after the extra point. Hernandez on to stretch it from six to seven. Three twenty-seven to go. Lee County strikes first. Hold is down. Kick is blocked, oh, blocked. and that'll stay at six to nothing. We'll take a quick break and be back for the kickoff. Union Pines. 
momentum swings back and forth. We'll see if that matters as we move through the rest of the night. We'll be back for the kick after these messages. 90 years ago, First Bank was founded. You know First Bank, the one where you are greeted by name, the one dedicated to the community, and the one born in the heart of the Carolinas. We help our customers to realize their dreams by providing financial solutions and building trusted relationships. My name is Rich Trogdon, and we are First Bank. Legal matters involving the family can be emotionally draining, complex, and difficult for all involved. Call the highly skilled attorneys at King Law Firm today. The call is free. The consultation is free. The advice is priceless. King Law Firm. We fight to make it right. All right, welcome back to Cameron, North Carolina game tonight, brought to you by ACDC, apparently. <laughs> PA announcer Kyler Franklin quickly achieving icon status here hey man, in listen. Cameron. He has the voice and everything. He does. Killing it. Killing it. And I have been told there is a very good chance he's going to be the PA announcer for the Lee County Lightning here pretty soon. Oh, yeah? We'll have to get with him about that and see what's going on with those rumors. Okay. See if you, uh, breaking news. All right, 321 okay. to go. Union Pines down 6 to nothing. He'll take over with good field position. Definitely killing up there, man. Chris, what are you looking forward to see from Lee County throughout this season, though? What, what is what is one thing that you want to see them improve on that you can see that they definitely need improving on? Lee County has got to be able to throw the ball down the field. Agreed. When they play Richmond and they play Scotland, if they can't throw the ball 10 yards beyond the line of scrimmage, it's going to be rough. Agreed. Because those teams will line up, and they're not going to allow B.J. Brown to run for 200 yards. No. And they are going to – they're going to follow Richmond's model from last year. Yep. They're going to pack the box yep. and say, go ahead and run that screen if you want because we'll pick it. Yep. Um, you're going to have to run somebody by us. And Schlesinger, the routes have been there. Mm -hmm. The athleticism's there on the outside, and, and they're that close. But they haven't connected on one down the field yet. I agree. They're going to have to – they're going to have to create something in the vertical passing game, even if it's just enough to get on tape. Yeah. When your son was at Lee County, they weren't a vertical offense, mm -mm. but teams knew – Play up and play oh, one yeah. deep if you want, because yeah. we'll run by we'll run somebody by you and we'll gas you or we'll Real get somebody quick. down the seam. You know those seam routes during the uh, state championship game during the uh, Burton Cage years. Oh man, yeah. You know he'd run it, run it, run it, but yeah. man, you pack the box and he'll run one down the seam yeah. for a touchdown on you. Yeah. Lee County's got to add that to their repertoire. The other thing on the other side of the football, those linebackers play great with their head. Yes. In the backfield, playing downhill. Yes. Those young men have got to get better in coverage or they're going to get exploited. Those are the two things. How about you, Coach? Special teams. Oh. Now, for what it's worth, now we just saw a blocked extra point. Yeah. But the starting point in week one, they're miles better than that. Yeah, So they are. hopefully that trend continues. And, I mean, to, to, you know, to, to make those deep playoff runs, you have to be able to have good special team play. Well, and some of it is just the players taking advantage of the positions they're put into. You know, Lee County, a team that they, they're going to try to block every punt. That's Everything. the design. They don't have a, a punt return yeah. that they run. They're coming to try and get every kick. Well, you can see them this year, and they're that close. Yeah. But somebody's got to make a play yeah. at the punter and block one, and we haven't seen very many of those. And if you're not going to get to them, it's not really a benefit in yeah, running that because you're not true. getting anything positive in the uh, in the return game. But we've we've seen you know with extra points being blocked, we've also seen some missed. We've seen you know punting issues in, 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 in the first part of the game. I think they're going to come into play, like you said, being able to pa pass the ball down the field. Special teams going to come into play in those playoffs. Well, you know, week one they beat Northwood fifty-three to twenty, and you look at that and you're like, all right, that's a good win. Mm -hmm. But if you take the special teams mishaps out of that game. Oh, man. It's probably a shutout Ooh. for one. Ooh. Is that Roney on the sack? <laughs> that is number 50. That is Braden Hines getting into the book. Nice First play. sack of the year, I believe. Hey, he's wearing a nice number. I right? tell you what, that man that used to wear number 50 here at Lee County, as you call him, DDP. Yes, sir. 
with the gigantic win. Huge. They what, what 1.4 million? Yeah. To come down there to and come play. Come down there and, and put it won. on. Yes, sir. Take Jimbo it Fisher, the most overrated head coach in college football. <laughs> I said it. Um, all right, Noah. Here we go. Schlesinger looking deep, like we were talking about. Got, Got him. man and catches Got it. Got him. Like hey. I said, start throwing the ball down That's the field. Nice You're going to be fine. Isaiah Peoples down the seam. That looked like a Burton Kate special right there. Nice play. Running that deep route down the seam. Peoples runs past. Schlesinger underthrew him by a step. Peoples able to make the adjustment and keep his momentum into the end zone. And bing, bang, boom. 14. They've already put 14 on the board. It's actually 12 at this point. Wait. Forgot about the oh, the safety. safety. You're right. My yep. fault. That's man. <laughs> yeah. It's hot. All right. 14 all right. to nothing. Hernandez looks to make it 15 here. First one blocked. Yeah, that one blocked too. That's problematic. Special teams. Hey, Amen. That is problematic. All right. 14 to nothing. Lee County. We'll take a quick break. You're watching the NFHS game of the week. We'll see you on the other side of the break. Buy your next new or used car the way you want to buy with the Pinehurst Toyota Smart Buy Program. Visit PinehurstToyota.com and choose or build the vehicle you want. Try the Pinehurst Toyota Smart Buy. It's the easiest way to buy your next new or used car. Legacy commercial and residential construction. From concept to design, constructed to fit your lifestyle. We use only top quality finishes to make our house your home legacy commercial and residential construction the sand hills residential and commercial builder of choice all right ladies and gentlemen 217 to go in the first quarter lee county starting to stretch it out a little bit 14 to nothing union pines got to do something positive on offense right here jerry agreed just don't want to get ugly in the first quarter the county get on the board again. It's going to be a long night, man. All right. First vertical touchdown pass we've seen from Lee County for that second touchdown. And you were talking about special teams. I can tell you one of the improvements in the special teams thus far is that kickoff. Agree, yeah. The design is for that to go to the hash. They're trying to hit the numbers with drop it sort of between the numbers and the hash mark. Hernandez get more and more accurate with that. They don't want to kick it deep and open up the return, and yeah. if they get it over there and isolate, um, first of all, they cut the coverage in half, but they also there's always a chance that ball hits the ground and something crazy happens. And they're they're okay with giving up decent field position if the, if the exchange is no big plays in the return game. Right. Union Pines from the 36, 214 to go in the half. Ben Finkelstein, no completions yet. Hands. This is Biggs on the reverse, and he is going backwards and going to be forced out of bounds after a short loss. Good pursuit by the Jackets. JoJo Jennings led the way. They're not giving Biggs no kind of vertical options. <laughs> I'll tell you that. He cannot get north and south to save. Well, when you come in, here. when you when you hit the scene as a freshman and you put up yeah. big yardage in your first couple of games, the problem with that is mm -hmm. everybody knows your name. And Biggs right now, the reputation precedes him everywhere they go. You can talk to anybody in this conference, and they'll be like, number 14 is really, really good. Oh, yeah. Well, they're going to key on him all night. And there's the hand up the middle. Nowhere to go. Haven't seen Biggs at that tailback position much, which is surprising to me a little bit because that's where they have gotten the most run out of him. And, man, here we go. Tyler McMullen in at defensive tackle. The strongest of the Lee County Yellow Jackets <laughs> hadn't been playing a whole lot of defensive tackle up to, you know, up to this point. Has gotten some limited run there late in games, yeah. but now in prime time, first quarter of the football game, they're going to stick him in the middle there. You're not getting through that with him, man. And Lamison, is that Lamison to the side of That's him? him? Those are two big young men there in the middle of that defensive line. And here comes the pressure. Finkelstein looking, throws it. Oh, got nice connections. Got Biggs. Biggs dancing. has got a first down. And that'll be a Union Pines first down out near midfield. Nice play. Well, and everything was done well on defense there. He just made a good play. He had the uh, used the defender's leverage against him and threw it behind the receiver. Big, good job of coming up with it. Now, Chris, did you, speaking of Tyler, did, 
you did get to see the video, didn't you? Of course. Ooh, man, 645. Squatting 645. He's a horseman. Nathan Cochran, who played at Campbell, said he wasn't doing 640 until he was a senior in college. <laughs> and here Tyler is a senior in high school. We, we, a lot of eyes on Tyler McMullen. See what kind of whiffs he gets. There's some traffic. There are a couple offers from some small schools. Yeah. He's got the frame to play on the interior line at some big schools. We'll see what kind of run he gets. You know, recruiting is still in flux with everything going on with the transfer portal. Agreed. The extra year eligibility for COVID. So these young men coming through the pipeline right now facing some frustration because there's some young men coming out of high school all over the country right now that ought to be playing on Saturdays yeah. that are not getting the opportunity. I agree. All right, second and eight. Finkelstein, hands. And that is, is that Shaper up the middle? Shaper with good positive yardage. Hard to tell the difference between Shaper and Holden Thomas. That was Shaper, who is more of a fullback type. And that will bring us to the end of the first quarter. Union Pines not looking to get another playoff. We'll go to double zeros. You're watching the NFHS Game of the Week. I'm Chris. This is Jerry. We will see you with second quarter action right after these messages. Jen Ritchie and her staff at Everything Pines can show you all the Southern Pines, Pinehurst, Aberdeen, and Bass have to offer. A trusted real estate professional with over a decade of experience. Each client receives a customized marketing plan featuring professional photography, drone footage, and floor plans designed just for them. For more information, go to everythingpinespartners.com and check out one of the hundreds of reviews. Everything Pines, showcasing the Sand Hills. All right, welcome back to Union Pines High School in Cameron, North Carolina. Lee County with the early 14 to nothing lead over the Vikings. Vikings just crossed midfield. They're at the 45, facing the third down here. As we flip ins, Lee County trying to get off the field, get that offense back out there, who hasn't had any trouble at all moving the football. Two touchdowns and a, and a drive stopped at the one. A lot of yardage here for this jacket offense early. Hey, man, B.J. Brown. D.J. Brown. Brown leading the offense right now. Eight carries for 90 yards and a touchdown. Ooh, buddy. The over-under, 234 and a half. <laughs> so he's got 144 and a half to go. Or 145 to get over that. It's definitely possible. Three quarters left of football. <laughs> All right, Finkelstein from the gun. One of the few schools, Jerry, that we, we, we see that goes back and forth from the gun and under center without really a whole lot of thought process. Yeah. As a coach, what what are the challenges there? And nice pursuit by the defense there. That was number three, Isaiah McKendall, third leading tackler on this jacket defense. One of the Boom Brothers right One of the there. Boom Brothers. I like seeing number six, Io, finally making it on the field tonight. He, to me, Chris, man, he's he's one step away. He's just one step away. All right, Union Pine's going to leave the offense on the field. Fourth and four. What's the call here, Coach? Whew. I don't think I would give Lee Senior that kind of good position. No, not with Noah Johns <laughs> punting the ball. And they may not. No. They may be looking, trying to draw a penalty here. They can take the delay of game, back it up. Johns can can place that thing down inside the 10 from anywhere around here. They're going to get a timeout. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they punt here. Yeah, I, I would definitely. This is a tough ask. While they talk about it, we'll take another break. This is the NFHS game of the week. We'll see you on the other side of the break. All right, coming out, second timeout used by Union Pines, 11.04 to go. They want to talk about a good, big play in the ball game here. Down 14 already. If you don't pick it up here, you're going to give Lee County really good field position to start. They've had the ball three times Lee County has. Union Pines 
stopped him at the one. Other than that, it hadn't been much more than a speed bump. Hmm. Finkelstein under center, drops. He's rolling, looking across, back oh, across the body. Got Biggs in a lot of space. Biggs to the 20, pulling a tackler. He's down nice. near the 15. Nice. Big nice. play there. And I tell you, I was going to say what we haven't seen from Union Pines yet was misdirection in the passing game. Yeah. They had great success with that against Western Hornet. A couple of touchdowns for Ortega on plays like that. That was a new wrinkle, though, because generally the receivers had rolled with the quarterback across the formation. That time they leaked Biggs out there, and we said, you focus on Biggs, somebody blew a coverage. That was nice. Biggs should never be unattended. And a big play there for Union Pines. Gets them down to the 17, and Union Pines with another momentum swing. They want to take advantage of this. What I was asking, Jerry, at the high school level, you don't see a lot of teams that run under center and shotgun interchangeably. Why is that? Well, to me, in my opinion, the game has changed. That's old school football. Is anything wrong with old school football? No. All right, here's the, here's the hand, Ooh. and that is Ethan Biggs. They never do get him to the ground, but he's inside the 15, positive yardage there. What I'm getting at is that finding a center that can snap the ball in the shotgun, it's a completely different action yeah. than doing it under center, and you only have so many reps in practice. Right. And you're trying to master a limited number of things, and I think a lot of coaches will tell you they don't like going under center if they're a shotgun team because they run the risk of a bad snap because it's not something they're accustomed to. Union Pines, a team, they'll go shotgun, they'll go under center, they don't seem to care, and just an exception to the rule. All right, Finkelstein hands to the up back, and nowhere to go there on the carry as they unpile. That was Jordan Hoffman with his first carry of the night. Tyler McMullen checks out for Lee County, and they bring in another big body. <laughs> That'll be... Coming into the game, Kyle Yarder. Another guy we don't see very much on the defensive line. This is a team, Lee County, that, that you know, they'll rotate 10 defensive linemen in there on any given night. They're looking to set a new record tonight. I'll tell you what. All right, third and five. Finkelstein holding Thomas with the carry. Nowhere to go. Third and four. Fourth and four coming up. They need to get down around the five-yard line for a first down here. You got Richmond County Southern Lee. 10-3. Richmond. Southern keeping it close. Keeping it close. They, was that a 7-30 kick or a 7 o'clock kick? Where are they at? 7-30. 7-30 kick. Okay. All right. So they're about the same place we are. All right, Finkelstein, fourth down, converted last time. We'll see if they've got another rabbit they can pull out of the hat. Shifts the backs, rolls. Looking, same action as before, and he's out there, no receiver to go to, and that was that was doomed. I don't know if the receiver got tied up and couldn't get out there or what happened, but there was nowhere to go, and that was supposed to give him options, but he ended up having to run the ball. He's going to be dropped instead, and Lee County gets the Vikings off the field, and that high-powered Yellow Jacket offense is right back out there looking for more blood. And something to keep an eye on. We see a lot of these guys at Union Pines, even more so than we've seen up to this point this season, playing both ways. That on a warm night like tonight, Jerry, it's tough. that's going to be tough. Cramps play a major right, Slessinger factor. fakes, throws, got the screen. screen. Here he goes. There's Jaden Hill. Jaden Hill, positive yardage. Pulls through a tackle. He's going to have first down, first down yardage. Fifth leading receiver in the conference coming in. And the leader in touchdown receptions. An electric athlete is a sophomore. I think fair to say he's the number one receiver. I don't know that I'd say that in front of any of the other receivers. but I mean, I don't think nothing wrong with it. And if he weren't so dynamic at the receiver position, would probably be the backup quarterback. Definitely so. Last week with Jack Martin in for the injured Mark Schlesinger, Jaden Hill, Two catches, two touchdowns, pretty efficient, 60 yards. All right, B.J. Brown with four on the carry. And he's only a sophomore, so, hey, definitely got time to grow, 
get better. I think that the, the, these underclassmen would have some great teams come at least. Coach Rideau should be good for a while. This group of sophomores he is really be good, good for a while. Man. Really, really good. And, of course, the juniors are no slouch either. And not at all. All right. We've got another stoppage pre-snap. Officials are going to talk about it. I think they're going to, are they going to change the spot. They wanted some camera time, obviously. <laughs> all right. Clock winds. 7.55 to go in the half. Second and six for the Jackets. Schlesinger from the gun. Hands to Brown. Brown around the left side. Brown's to the second he level. He is moving in. What a run. Right, good open field tackle there. Another score we'll update. 23 on the carry. Another score update. We have Scotland and Hope County. 14-14. What? Yeah. Hope County. Hope County with probably the Ooh. most prolific passing offense in the conference. 14, of course, 14. you know, Ravel, quarterback down there, junior at Scotland, all nice. the hoopla. Yeah. And they've got two backs. They might have as good a tandem of backs down to Scotland as anybody hey, in the state. Anybody. But Hope County doing some things. All right, that puts Brown <coughs> over 100 yards for the game. Pressure coming from the Vikings. Schlesinger does a good job just to get it out of there. And there's a flag in the backfield. I think we're going to hold late. And I think it's going to be on Jennings, who was in there for pass protection, I, I, I suppose, on I that didn't set. See a hold there. I didn't either. I just didn't see that. There have been a lot of things that have drawn flags I haven't seen tonight. And it's going to be a hold. And that's a spot foul in high school football. This is going to be a monster. Ooh. You're looking at about first and first and about 30 by the time they walk this off. That's a tough one. They got that deep in the backfield. And they're only lucky that the official didn't didn't mark it from the original spot because he had the flag down about four yeah. yards deeper than where they moved it to. But you've got first and 27, 28, a long way. <laughs> first and a long way. Jennings in at tailback, four wide outs for Lee County. There's a snap. Ty fakes, screened to Morris. Oh, oh, and he's looking down the field trying to make people miss before he got his hands on it. It'd be second in a mile. It was wide open. It really was. And surprised there was that much space yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. When he sees that on tape, he's going to he's gonna cry a little bit. I'm not sure that wasn't going to the house. I'm ready for Kendall to have that breakout game. Yeah. I, well, Kendall, Kendall, young man, said that his, his goal individually this year was 1,000 all-purpose yards. He certainly is capable of that and would be the number one tailback for 85 or 90 percent of the, of the high schools in the state. There's B.J. Brown checking back into the game, and there's a horse collar that doesn't get called. Wow. Spun him around by the shoulder pads, got his hand down in there, but that didn't seem to register with the officials. <laughs> we got about 11 on the carry there. It wasn't a hole. On your feet, Vikings! All right, third and 16 coming up, 6.45 to go in the half. Lee County facing some adversity here on offense for the first time this, this ball game. Penalties de definitely get you there. Well, given the way their defense is playing, this might be four-down territory. If they get positive yardage here, I wouldn't be surprised to see the offense stay on the field. He swings it out there. Got Brown. Boy, that's a hopeless task trying, to, catch, trying to get him in the open field. He makes another man miss. And he needed 16, gets 19 out at the 31. And that is a Lee County first down brought to you by Shed Depot. I'm like what I'm seeing in Mark. Player down on the field. All right, we're going to send it to Pat McCracken down on the field, see what Pat sees that we might not have eyes on, Jerry. And we'll have to, you know, we'll have to do a comparison, see how he stacks up against you. He's taking your job, man. He's, he's kind of buying for it. All right, we'll send it down to Pat McCracken here in a moment. Pat, wondering what you're seeing down there on the field. Lee County looking pretty good from up here. Well. 
live television, folks. <coughs> well, we'll get Pat McCracken after this series, I suppose. The injured player down for the Vikings gets off on his own power. All right, Lee County from the gun. JoJo Jennings back in at tailback. Schlesinger from the gun. Fakes. Got the screen again to Morris. Not as much space as there was that last time, but Morris makes a man miss, and he's into the open field. If he can get past, he's down there, has a first down, and more down inside the REMAX red zone, inside the 10 before they stop him. Turns we'll give him about nothing. 35 as he turns, Ooh, as Jerry said, into something. something into nothing. Yeah. Or nothing wow. into something. My bad. <laughs> that was nice. That was Kendall nice. Morris, electric. Man, I remember him when he came up and played <laughs> as a freshman dynamic if you could have seen him in youth i bet we seen it then man he was special he was really special all right schlesinger with two backs in there 541 to go this is the hand to brown brown looking for the end zone dragon tackler is going to be close to the goal line down to the one second and goal from a couple of feet away it almost looked like he's in there it was really close <laughs> Now, I'm going to tell you, from this position on the field, I would run Schlesinger twice. Nope, that's the Jennings. <laughs> Jennings through there gets, yeah. the, gets the poached touchdown, and it'll be 20 to nothing jackets. I don't think anybody touched him, Jerry. I definitely didn't touch him. All right, Hernandez. Both of his extra point attempts blocked so far. A little concerning because that's that's something that you got on tape. Other teams are going to be looking at, and it's been a problem thus far. Slow on the exchange. This kick is up, and it's good, and banks it off of the <laughs> – banks it off a piece of band equipment out there. That didn't go well. 5-10 to go. It's 20 to nothing, and we're going to head back down to the field to Pat McCracken, the illustrious PA announcer from <laughs> Lee County on the road with us tonight. Pat, what do you see down there? Now this close, DJ Brown is on fire tonight. He's uh, he's making unbelievable cuts. This grass is a little bit damp, but it's not affecting him. Uh, the Jackets are opening up some really big holes, and then uh, once they stop the run, they've made a couple of nice passes. So it looks like they've got everything going on offense tonight, guys. Back to y'all. All right, thanks, Pat. You know, Lee County's field. Paul B. Gay Stadium. It's McCracken Field. Yeah. People ask me, who's that named after? I tell them Pat McCracken. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely a staple. And they believe it. He's a staple. Pat, of course, on the Lee County School Board. And uh, has been a part of Lee County football now for years. I remember when he, yes. when he told me they were talking to him about coming in to do that. And it seems like a million years ago. But he is there a fixture at Paul B. Gay on Friday nights when Lee County's at home and does a fantastic job. Oh, yeah. All right, Hernandez get 5-10 to go. Lee County, oh, here's the onside attempt, and that's going to be picked up unless he let it get out. Lee County may get a free possession here. We'll see as they unpack, and it is Lee County football. Wow. That was nice. It really was. That was, that was one of the best onside it kicks really I've was. seen. I mean, that was on the money. And Isaiah McKendall making another big play. He was the guy that got there. He and Hernandez chasing that thing. That's tough to defend. That was that was tough. That was really tough. All right, so Lee County already up three touchdowns, looking to go up four. They have the ball on the plus side of the 50 to start this drive. Three for four on drive so far. The one they didn't score a touchdown on, they were stopped at the one-yard line on fourth and goal. All right, B.J. Brown in there at tailback. There's the toss to Brown. Brown with a head of steam out close to a first down, eight on the carry. Tell you what, Chris, the wayside, 
It filled up a little better. It got a little better. I'm, 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 I've got nothing to complain about. Yeah, got Lee a little County better. showing out tonight. And, and you know, as you see at Lee County sports functions, plenty of folks on the railing down there. Of course, yeah. yeah. That's, 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 that's the thing the from youth football. Spot. Exactly. Yeah, that's, that's the dad spot right there, you know. That's a Lee County thing. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Youth football. Yes, sir. Junior high, JV, high school. There's going to be some dads. Find then a collection of them line. over there talking, reminiscing, yeah. telling stories. Yeah. All right, here's a snap. Second and short. Schlesinger going to step up. Now he's going to take off, and he's dumped for a sack there. And it looks like Bremer gets his first of the night. That'll take him to six and a half or seven, depending upon how they score that. Looks looks like, like he, was, he had help with that one. He was looking for Kendall in the middle of the field. Yeah, Kendall yeah. slipped down and fell. Kind Footing of issues run. And, yeah. and took a chunk of turf up with him. I didn't get the impression from the field that it was going to be slick tonight, but we've seen guys lose footing several times tonight. Flag down. Well, well looky there. Wow. Definitely not what Coach Truesdale wanted there. No. Well, don't man, I don't know him. what the I don't know what the call. I was. missed it. I I, I, didn't, I didn't even see the flag for a time. Kyler, did you see what the call was there? No, nope, he didn't either. So, all right, Schlesinger on second and one. They've got it marked. There's Brown into the second. Wow. Look out! Look out! Boy, he's fast. Wow! My There's goodness. seven more. Woo! That's 38 on that touchdown and his second of the night. And that over under slightly. My under bet is looking. Looking to be in jeopardy. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, hey, B.J. Brown. It's gonna be on coach. It's gonna be on coach Bordeaux if it doesn't happen. All right. Twenty-seven to nothing. Four minutes to go in the half. Alonzo Hernandez in to add the extra point. And my goodness, An that oh my. kick is blocked. That's three of them blocked. Union Pines looking to set the North Carolina high school record tonight. All right. We're going to take a quick break, go down to the field with the Union Pines band. For my money, probably the best band in the state, definitely the best in the region. Terry McMullen's down there with the band. Terry, what you got? Oh, uh, yeah. Thank you, Chris. We're down here with the band. I have Malin Gennard with me. She is a drum major for the world-famous Union Pines Marching Vikings, and I'm just going to let her – tell you just for a second about her show and the name of her show um our show this year is called peculiar and our first competition is next weekend so the first competition is next weekend the show is called peculiar in a minute i'm gonna let terry scan over here and you can see some of the backdrops they have and it truly is peculiar we'd like to thank madeline she's a former student of mine awesome girl and if you get a chance come out and see these marching vikings and uh support them thank you madeline back to you guys up top Back. Well, we're back as Lee County gets ready to kick off at the B.J. Brown 38-yard touchdown dash down the left side of the field. Lee County with the short living kick. If it's a part of the special teams game they've gotten correct tonight, it's been the kick. That kick has landed in those ha the hash every single time. He's, he's doing his thing. If there's – that is something they weren't they weren't pulling off with regularity to start the season. Yeah. It's a thing, and that is by design. I'm I'm distracted, man. Apparently, there is an Olive Garden bread stick bread stick eating competition at halftime. How did I get in? What dude? It's five dollars per entry. I think we need to run down there at halftime no, and sleepy. show these young folks what's up. I'll get a little sleepy, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Senior quarterback Ben Finkelstein out there with the offense. Need to get some momentum here. Down 27 to nothing. And there's a reverse to oh. Biggs. Biggs with some space. we got to make Jennings miss, and he does. He outruns him. And big yardage. Look at, look at Biggs. Nice saving tackle there by Logan Save. Walker. That was going to the house. And Logan Walker probably the only jacket that could have run him down. I agree. Yeah, I agree. Man, I was a lot of things when I was young. But I wasn't fast like these guys. Man, oh, man, oh, man. Uh, uh, I mean, between Biggs and Brown, that's just scary yeah, talent. Yeah. I ran pretty fast when I was younger. But, you know, I, I think my my son, uh, he kind of ran past me. With 
<laughs> so, I, Jerry, here's what needs yeah. to happen. Yeah. And we need to make this happen. We, we, can, we can raise a couple bucks for charity. Right? Okay. You and I need to line up and run the 40 against one another. What? Yeah. Chris, come on, man. I'm down. What? And you got, I got like. And I got a bad ankle. And yeah, I'm, but I got like 10 years on you. It's, and I'm going to still win, but I got a bad ankle. <laughs> What? I love that you're like, yeah, I'll still win. I can do I mean, cartwheels though. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> hey, Tim. Tim, you got to make this happen. <laughs> what? At halftime. At, half, at halftime. We're going to do it at halftime of the Richmond County I game. I am so 100% what? down for that. <laughs> Jerry and Chris going to run the 40-yard dash against each other. I'm, I'm for this. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm for this. I'm with yes. It. We might have to do it for we, pregame. We got we to gotta make Nate come out there. No, we can't do a pregame, man. I won't make it through the rest of the game. Because I can run 40 yards once. It does. I can run 40 yards once. Yeah, I might can get it once. I might get it Oof. All right. Finkelstein inside three minutes to go. Looking for a big play. There's the hand. This is Schaefer. They've been trying to get him going. He's the biggest of the backs that Union Pines. And they, they certainly have a committee of backs. Schaefer is a load. They but counted. really not able to get a whole lot of momentum. They're not letting up on that run game tonight. Shaper, they list at 580, 186. I think he's a little bit bigger than 186, personally. I am seriously contemplating this wing eating, or this uh, breadstick <laughs> eating challenge. I seriously am. <laughs> if I can make it down there in time, I might just jump in there. Hey, just jump on in, Chris. Do they have any dipping sauce? Dude, you got it 90 seconds, man. You ain't oh. time to be dipping the breadsticks. Oh, man. All right, third and long. Go to third and 14. Finkelstein, that's a lateral, and that is hauled in. That is Schaefer. He's like a bowling ball back there. Ball's out, and that's Lee County football going the other way. That's the last thing in the world the Union Pines Vikings wanted to see. Anthony Battle falls on it. A big hit, not sure who knocked it free, but Shaper just bouncing off of tacklers there, and ultimately the ball pops out. Battle's got it. Lee County's got 151, and I tell you what, if they punch this one in, you can probably go start the bus up, Jerry. Yeah, yeah I agree. And there's Shaper leap, limping. Yeah. Not something you want to see neither. Check some scores, halftime scores, and see what, see how things are looking. All right, some miscommunication there. Union Pines runs a man on late. There's a screen. This one is to Jaden Hill. Jaden breaks out of a tackle. He's got into some space. He's down inside 35. A convoy of blockers weaving his way nice. and picks his way all the way down for 30 yards on the carry. Brought down inside the 35 and i'm gonna tell you that was a a, a, a combination of things there union pines couldn't figure out who to get onto the field and then some of those guys that did get on the field got tired legs out there you oh, got yeah. a lot of two-way players out there tonight ethan biggs was over there on that side of the field and he is dog tired caleb milton in for him sophomore 6 185 i really like him a lot all right, Schlesinger looking, looking, looking. Get rid of it there. That's the growth that we've seen from Schlesinger. That's nice. Three weeks ago, yeah. he would have tucked that. He would have held it too long and would have taken a sack. Now he's becoming a quarterback, Jerry. That I, I and was, you can tell I him I said it. so. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tell he's, him don't be mad at me. When he sees, he's always mad at me when he's he sees going, me. <laughs> he's going X. You can tell him I, I said he has become a quarterback. <laughs> Please say those words so we can be friends again. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, clock stop, 119 to go. Second and 10 coming up. From the 25, Lee County up 27 nothing. Chris, what is it with you and the quarterbacks? Hey, <laughs> man, at least Schlesinger's right, parents okay. haven't come after me yet. Yeah. All right, Schlesinger flips it out there to Brown. Brown spins. Now it kicks it outside, oh. kicks it inside, spins around. He's oh. still going. Chase down, and he's going to have about seven on the carry. Ran about 45 yards. And I just realized I have stopped annotating yards, and I have no idea how many yards he has at this hey. point. Where is Hockaday and the radio crew? Uh, Where are they at? Are they downstairs? They, they, gotta be. Them. they do a better job oh, keeping stats think. than we do. They're definitely They're much more diligent. Third down. Well, I can, I can promise you one thing. First of all, Lee County's got a, a pocket full of timeouts, but I guarantee you one thing. They won't be kicking a field goal here. 
Schlesinger looking to the end zone. Oh, nice. Got a man, throws it up there. Ooh, Ooh young guy. Hey, out that there. was a nice pass. Listen. It was a bright, nice pass for yeah. a lot of reasons. One, the only guy that can make a play on the ball was the receiver. his receiver. Nice. That's what you want. And Logan Walker unable to come down with it. Offense is going to stay out there. There's no chance Lee County kicks this field goal. They've had three extra points blocked, and the last thing in the world they want to do is end the half on a block punt return for a touchdown. We got another score update at the half halftime. Southern Lee, Richmond County, 17-10. What? Richmond. Look at those Cavaliers. The Southern Lee Tate Blanks over there. Hey. Man, I tell you what, Tate Blanks, three of those young men over there, a junior, a sophomore, and a freshman, all of They're them. They're tough. Amazingly good ball players. Michael Tate Blanks comes into tonight the conference leader in tackles. And this is this is a conference that's got some linebackers. Oh, yeah. But Tate Blanks has been doing it since he showed up oh, out yeah. there. His brother Marcus on the defensive line and the offensive line doing double duty as good alignment as there is in the conference. And now they got a freshman over there. I haven't gotten to see him yet. I have yet to see Southern play, but I'm definitely going over my I have a couple family members that play there. Definitely got to get over. All right, 36 seconds to go. Lee County uses their first timeout. Hope County also still tied up. Man, I tell Scotland, you, if, 14, if Hope 14. were to knock off Scotland, that would tilt the world off of its axis. Scotland, even though the, the record is up and down, folks talking about Scotland as if they are the team to beat in this yeah. conference. And Hope County is one of those schools. We, we hear about those schools all the time. Yeah. The athletes are there. They just don't put it out there. Hope yeah. County last year, their, their core group of athletes were as good as anybody in the conference. And it just didn't translate. And this might be one of those nights where they shocked the world. But uh, a lot of eyes will be on that game. And, of course, Richmond only up 17-10 against Southern Lee. Yeah. That's pretty impressive stuff from the Cavaliers. There's Brown, has the first down, has more, sneaking out, looking for an end zone, and sets it up at the two-yard line just in the perfect spot for JoJo Jennings to come in and poach a touchdown here. <laughs> All right, they're going to stop it. They stop it to set the chains. 28, Lee County trying to, trying to hustle, not burn a timeout here. Jennings in at tailback alongside Brown. 27 nothing right now. This hand is to Brown. Brown is going to get in there. Touchdown, Lee County. And that, with 18 seconds to go, makes it 33 to nothing. Lee County, not what Union Pines wanted tonight. All right. Let's see if we can. Can we get a field goal? Well, can, we'll can, see. We, can we get an extra point? And we and finally got it. It's high. There we go. It's up there. And I'll tell you, you got more loft on that one than you got the others. That's yeah. 34 to nothing and a, a little bit of a, a victory there for the Lee County special teams on a night when most things have gone right. The conversions have not. Lee County will kick off. Union Pines is going to go to the locker room after this kick and try and get things sorted out uncharacteristic from Union Pines in that second level, a team that prides itself on linebacker play, that front yeah. seven really hasn't had an answer for B.J. Brown at this point. If, if you're Lee County, what do you go in at halftime and say? I mean, if, if you're Steve, what do you correct at halftime? Special teams. I tell B.J. Brown to have a seat. <laughs> <laughs> keep, him, keep him fresh. Yeah. Um, you know what I what I tell them? Clean up the penalties. I mean, if you if you take the penalties off the board here, this game is out of control by yeah. now. Um, you know, it's on the verge already. But Lee County shot themselves in the foot a couple of times, and uh, you've got to focus better than that. These pre-snap penalties and the holds, you you've got to eliminate that. We knocked a, you know, we saw a big return in the kicking game come off. Um, that ball was scooped up. Is that Ortega? I think it's Ortega with maybe his first touch tonight. And Union Pines with about 15 seconds to go in the half, probably going to take a knee here. Don't want to risk anything. Well, you've got no timeouts either. So, I mean, unless you've got some kind of gadget play, um, you're really going to have to take it to the house here to get anything done. And I don't think you want to drop back and try and run receivers deep because that's a recipe for disaster. Yeah. The fresh legs on that defensive line for Lee County. Lamison, number 57, is lined up there at tackle, and that's interesting. Um, we've seen him disrupt from the edge. We've seen him almost almost 
exclusively at tackle tonight. Here's the run. This is Holden Thomas, and he's wrapped up. Nice play. Is that Io that got him? No, that's number three. No, that was McKendall. McKendall. McKendall having maybe, maybe oh, yeah. one of the best games of his short career. McKendall having a great night. And that'll take us to triple zeros. And with that, we will go down to the field with Pat McCracken, who's got Coach Steve Bordeaux. Pat, I understand you've got Steve Bordeaux coming on with some words. Get his thoughts about that Yellow Jacket performance in the first half. Yes, sir. We're with Coach Bordeaux. And, uh, Coach, looks like the running game is, has helped the passing game, too. Is this your best uh, half of offense so far this year? I think so, hitting on both the passing and the running game. And, you know, both of those things go hand in hand. And the way they're trying to line up the – to, to affect BJ and some of our running guys um, gave us some things in the passing game and we were lucky to take some advantage of that. He really made some great moves out there uh, to get to get loose. Uh, your quarterback healthy? Yeah, he's playing well. Um, good pocket movement a couple times. He scrambled a little bit, a little RPO stuff, so happy to see what we're seeing. Sounds good. Keep up the good work, Coach. Thank you. Quick break. We'll be back with a very yeah, brief King Law across. Firm halftime show and then we're going to we're going to put the band on and let you enjoy the regalia and all the pomp and beauty and pageantry that is the Union Pine Marching Band. Oh, I think we've got Pat McCracken's got Coach Jason Trisdale. That's awesome. Thank you. I don't know what. At Ace, your backyard is right in our backyard. So when you need to feed your grass, remove the weeds, or wrangle those leaves, go to the best place that delivers on top brands like Ego, Toro, and Steel. You can also order online for curbside pickup or get what you need delivered today. Around the block, what you need in stock with people who know their lawn care. Visit Randy and Jill Saunders or Kathy Thompson in Southern Pines or Seven Lakes. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. At Ace, your backyard is right in our backyard. So when you need to feed your grass, remove the weeds, or wrangle those leaves, go to the best place that delivers on top brands like Ego, Toro, and Steel. You can also order online for curbside pickup or get what you need delivered today. Around the block, what you need in stock with people who know their lawn care. Visit Randy and Jill Saunders or Kathy Thompson in Southern Pines or Seven Lakes. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. Jen Ritchie and her staff at Everything Pines can show you all the Southern Pines, Pinehurst, Aberdeen, and Bass have to offer. A trusted real estate professional with over a decade of experience. Each client receives a customized marketing plan featuring professional photography, drone footage, and floor plans designed just for them. For more information, go to everythingpinespartners.com and check out one of the hundreds of reviews. Everything Pines, showcasing the Sand Hills. We took our signature sandwich and pumped up the base. With bacon and cheese, it's the new Signature Club. Remixed by Zaxby's. 
Buy your next new or used car the way you want to buy with the Pinehurst Toyota Smart Buy Program. Visit PinehurstToyota.com and choose or build the vehicle you want. Try the Pinehurst Toyota Smart Buy. It's the easiest way to buy your next new or used car. At the Shed Depot of North Carolina, we believe there's a better way to buy a shed where all the selection, all the quality, and all the service are in one convenient location to make your buying experience easy. Our three acre sales center has over 60 sheds in stock and if you don't see what you need, our sales experts can guide you through the custom design process to meet your unique needs. Get started today at SheddepotNC.com. All right, this is gonna be worthy of preempting the King Union Law Pine Firm halftime show. You may now take the, field in performance. the Union Pines Viking Marching Band with peculiar, this is the first time they've rolled this out with full uniform and everything else. We have said it often, we've traveled all over the, the region with high school football over the last 10 years. Union Pines Band is special and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what they've got here. So with that, I'll be quiet and let the band do their thing. Peculiar, you are extraordinary. 
and the world around you is ordinary. Mm -hmm. Perfection is beauty. Oddity is genius. And it is better to be absolutely peculiar than to be ordinary. Mm -hmm. Back me up just a little bit. Back me up. Back up a little bit. Let them get here. Hey, will you leave that behind us so I can interview Rob? No, you, should, you, keep, you should keep it. Just get right here. Stay in here. Oh, cool, cool, yeah. Just let me know. We're good to go here when, uh, whenever you're ready. 
Israel and Angela. Legacy commercial and residential construction. From concept to design, constructed to fit your lifestyle. We use only top quality finishes to make our house your home. Legacy commercial and residential construction. The Sand Hills residential and commercial builder of choice. Jen Ritchie and her staff at Everything Pines can show you all the Southern Pines, Pinehurst, Aberdeen, and Bass have to offer. A trusted real estate professional with over a decade of experience. Each client receives a customized marketing plan featuring professional photography, drone footage, and floor plans designed just for them. For more information, go to everythingpinespartners.com and check out one of the hundreds of reviews. Everything Pines, showcasing the Sand Hills. Legacy commercial and residential construction. From concept to design, constructed to fit your lifestyle. We use only top quality finishes to make our house your home. Legacy commercial and residential construction. The Sand Hills residential and commercial builder of choice. Welcome to the NFHS Network's Halftime Show, brought to you by King Law and New Image Media. I'm with Rob Hill down here after their first performance. Uh, Rob's the band director here at Union Pines. Rob, you, it was your first show tonight, uh, kind of a dress rehearsal, but looked like you were in mid-season form. Yeah, thank you very much. We've been working very, very hard to put this, uh, the whole uh, three movements on the field. You know, up to this point, each football game, we've done a piece of it at a time, but we just really worked hard to kind of get it on the field. So that way we have our first competition next Saturday and we can clean some things, look at footage just like coaches do. Same thing in the band world. We'll take our notes, clean it, and we'll show up and do our thing. That's the plan. How many, how many hours are you going to put in before, uh, before next Saturday? Well, we got all day during school, then we got all day after school. So I'm going to say we put in about, you know, uh, at least three or four hours after school every day on top of uh, what we do during the no normal school day. So it's a lot of time and effort, but it, it pays off, surely. Rob, thank you for coming tonight. Come support these Vikings. They have their own Viking Classic here in a few weeks. And also, uh, they'll be at the Brick Capital Classic That's to right. wrap things up in Sanford. So, Rob, yeah. thank you for your time. Thank you. Appreciate you giving me some time. Go marching Vikings. Thank you. All right, welcome back. King Law Firm Halftime Show. Jerry, I don't recall you ever getting an interview with a band director. What's going on, man? Light work. <laughs> you can tell them I said Bill McCracken doing, doing yeoman's work down there on the field. Yeah. Thank you, sir. We are waiting on the final count for B.J. Brown's first half. Over 200 yards, three touchdowns in the first half. Looks like a lock to go over the 234 yeah. and a half we set as the over-under on yardage today. I We're out of superlatives for this young man. He looks a step faster than I've seen him before, and he was already plenty fast. Yeah, he's definitely what, what running. What do you even say? He's running harder tonight than I've seen, man. I mean, from the handoff, it's like he's already at full stride in his first three steps. And you the, don't see that much. From the DJ. lateral movement, the the ability to change direction without losing momentum and speed, yeah. really impressive. Um, Lee County really with a good first half. The only blemish, probably some, um, probably some uh, penalties there. We're going to go to the field real quick. I understand Pat McCracken has Coach Jason Trisdale. We'll get his thoughts. Let's go to the field real quick. Honor. Coach, you gave up some big plays in the second quarter. Uh, what adjustments you going you make to try to keep those big plays from happening? I think we just got to stay gap sound, to tackle a little bit better. They got some really good athletes over there. You know, we're going to try to do a better job of tackling, staying in gaps. And we got to take care of the football. I think we turned over four or five times. Had a safety in the end zone. You know. Yeah, you had some good things going early, and uh, and uh, but have a great half. As thank you for talking with us. Okay. Appreciate yes, sir. My pleasure. Trisdale, the Union Pines Vikings right there. The um, 
I I'm sure there are a thousand things he'd rather be doing than uh, interviewing with Pat McCracken, but well done. I know some competitive people. Jason Truesdale is among the most competitive that I know, Jerry. Oh, yeah. And he is not happy right now. We'll see what Union Pines is going to do. I'll tell you one thing. No matter what happens the rest of this, this ball game, there will be no lack of fight from these Vikings. But they're going to try and work on some things because they got more football to play. This first oh, yeah. week of conference play, they got a lot to get done, and they've got to do better than this, or it could be a, it could be a rough go of it. Yeah, you, I, I definitely think so. Definitely right. think so. That was the King Law Firm halftime show featuring the Union Pines marching band who will be competing here coming up at Pinecrest. Looking forward to that. Good luck for them. The kick is away. A high spinner is going to be fielded at about the 15-yard line. Kendall Moore looking Kendall Moore is looking to do damage. He has it out across the 25. Be marked down at the 27. Lee County will take over first and 10. Jerry in some situations up 34 in the second half on the road, I think yeah. you'd see the break pulled. Given the fact that Schlesinger missed a game and a half with injury, and this is his first year, he's really only up to tonight gotten about two and a half games worth of reps. Yeah. I think we're probably going to see them throw the ball around a little bit, not to run the score up, but to get that done against a good opponent. I can't blame him. Here we go. B.J. Brown still in there at tailback. There's the hand to Brown. He's around the left side and close to a first down, going to be pulled down just short. Brown has learned how to also go down a little early, you know, and, and, and that comes important because that's what put Mark out, if you don't remember, a couple games ago, trying to fight and get that extra one, two yards. Go ahead and go down so you can make it to the next play. All right. We haven't seen on offense yet. We've seen the ball spread around a little bit in the passing game. We haven't seen the throw to number two, Isaiah Peoples. He is becoming one of my favorite Yellow Jackets, sophomore receiver, um, or excuse me, junior receiver. One of those guys that played tailback at the youth level and junior high level. There's Brown, bounces it outside, bounces again. He's going to be out across the 45-yard line, out of bounds at the 48. And that'll be about 10 more on the carry. I think I won a bit. Jerry, I've had enough of you already tonight. <laughs> I think I would. Yeah, I think I'm ready to concede now. I think I definitely would. All right, Lee County, no problem running the ball. Of course, I said they might come out and throw it around a little bit. Of course, they might just run, you know. I still think they will. So Brown came in with just short. Oh, my goodness. Schlesinger would like to have that one back. Kendall Morris running down the seam. Threw it a little bit high. Second and ten. Well, his mechanics up to that throw was very looked very good tonight. So far, it wasn't, you know, Mark was throwing off his back back foot a lot. Well, we and we've seen some incompletions tonight, but that was the first bad throw. Yeah, I mean, we've seen we've we've seen him give his receiver a chance up, oh, and there goes Brown down again, and Slester. I think they tripped over each other. And third and a mile coming up here after the negative yardage there. On your feet, Vikings! It's third down. I, I tell you. After the band got done, Jerry, at halftime, I had an eye on the breadstick eating competition. Yeah. And I am regretting not having gone down there because <laughs> I'd, have, I'd, have, I'd, have, I'd have won that thing hands down. Oh, jailbreak. Schlesinger throws it out of there. Oh, got a wow. man as JoJo Jennings comes down oh. with it. He's got a head of steam and has a nice first tackle. down. Third and 14, you got a man coming untouched. Schlesinger flips it out there, a dangerous throw, but Jennings was the only guy close to it in the end, and he comes down, picks up about 20 on the catch, and a Shed Depot first down for those jackets. I actually like that play with my mark there. I, uh, I like, I like the, the I end like result. It. I'm not sure you want to do that by design too many times. Nah. But, I mean, just to still keep his eyes down the field to available receiver. Oh, nice. That's nice, yeah, Kendall nice. Morris bouncing off, folks. Spins, thrown down at the 13-yard line. Another big play down the field. I told you they might throw it around. Now they're making me look smart. <laughs> hey, man, I was listening to some of the old broadcastings of you and Nate um, back in the 20, 2019 season. Yeah. Hey, man, you had some points. I got to give you, and that's why I say the GOAT <laughs> when I talk about Chris, man. That stood true. And a lot of these things stood true. 
All right, first and ten for the for the Jackets inside the Remax red zone. There's a throw in his behind. I think it was tipped at the line of scrimmage. And did he come up with that? Looks like he did. My man, Isaiah Peoples with the catch. Well, you know he's low to the ground. Yes, he, yes, he <laughs> is. He is not a big fella. No, sir. No, sir. He packs a punch. I, I, I like him, though, because I complimented him on his willingness to play other other positions after yeah. having been a tailback all his life. But I did ask him, you know, if you, given your, your preference, where would you play? And, you know, the answer is that, that you're looking for, oh, that's popped up in the air, almost picked. Jaden Hill in the back of the end zone thought he should have had it. Nice play to get a hand on it there by the defense. Holden Thomas back there in coverage. We and – popped it out of there that type of play you know they, they run that to Jaden because you know even though he's a sophomore I think he's listed at what six feet tall he is he yeah. is throwing that ball down in that basketball gym he so he can got, definitely get up he's got length long arms can get up in the air Celestia would like to put a little bit more air under that because you've got a size mismatch out on the, on the edge all right this is Jennings wow wow oh. that's not fair that's not fair JoJo stood up and gave. I don't. That's not a stiff arm. I don't even know what that is. I don't that even is. know what that's called. That's the swipe. What? Get off me. What? Jennings in for his second touchdown of the night. Forty to nothing, Lee County. Chris, that may be a first I, since Ooh. I've seen since we've been broadcasting for that to happen. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Wow. And we, sir, have a running clock. Kick is up. Kick is good. No, it's not. No he good. pulled it left. So that's been a mess. That's four missed conversions tonight. 40 wow. to nothing. That clock is going to start ticking after the kick and will run except for changes of possession. So this will be a very brief second half. You know, we seem to think we're getting close. All right, let's go yeah. down to the field. Pat McCracken surrounded by an awful lot of happy folks. We'll all right, we are here, Chris, down here with the Union Pines cheerleaders. It's an awesome-looking group down here. I have Ashlyn with me, and I've got just one question for her and then a question for the whole cheerleading team. Ashlyn, what's the best, your favorite thing about Friday Night Football? Um, I would say I love the crowd, and I like being in front of them and cheering on our football team. Sounds good. And, ladies, in just a second, we're going to let y'all just make a lot of noise because y'all are getting ready to be on TV Okay, so let me hear you, okay? All right, we're here with the cheerleaders. Hey, Thank you. Back to you, Chris. Thank you. Jerry, 8.57 to go. Lee County, 40 to nothing. Hard to criticize much. Yeah. And I don't want to fixate on the extra point conversions. Brandon Ortega at about the 15, looking, looking, looking. And I'll tell you, I've been impressed with the kick coverage by Lee County because those return men back there for Lee, for uh, Union Pines, yeah. dangerous. Oh, yeah. Number 18, Brandon Ortega. We watched him return a punt for a touchdown not long ago where he was in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out, and in the end ran about 55 yards for the touchdown. All right, Union Pines trying to get something going here. At this point, you're looking for small victories. They do not want to get shut out, I'm sure. The county really came out. Right. A different game plan. I'm liking what I'm seeing. They look pretty solid tonight outside of special teams. All right, Finkelstein hands. That is holding Thomas in there at tailback. Thomas a different style runner. Um, Got a little bit of shiftiness to him, but he'll get downhill faster than some of those backs in there. Yeah. And he gets up a little gimpy. And I think they're going to get him out of there. Schaefer checks back in. Yep. Thomas is down. I think he's got a lower leg injury. And while they tend to him, we'll take a quick break. You're watching the NFHS Game of the Week. We'll be back with more after these messages.
Thomas able to walk off the field. Hope he's okay. Finkelstein's, no, we've got to change a quarterback. Nope, Finkelstein's still in there, my mistake. All right, Finkelstein's still in there under center. Brings Ortega in motion. Fakes the hand, rolling, rolling under pressure. And that is picked going the other way. That is Anthony Battle with the pick, and he is close to the goal line it's and into down. the end zone for a touchdown. Anthony Battle, one of those revelations on defense we've talked about. Yeah. Big play every week, it seems like, and that will be, I believe, the first touchdown of his high school career. Good pressure applied there by the Jackets. Who got after that one there, Jerry? I can't. I, that was had to be Auburn Griffin. No, it wasn't Auburn Griffin's not playing tonight. I was Aiden was Aiden Aiden Ronan. Was it Ronan? It had it had to be. Happened so fast I couldn't see it. Hold is down, kick is blocked again. That is four blocks. Union Pines in pursuit of a state record. I I don't know what to say about it. I, I mean, don't know, but you've got to get that cleaned up. You've got to get that cleaned up. If I'm Coach Burdo, I don't know. And that's something new. I, I don't know where that came what from, but that will be an emphasis this weekend, I assure you. Wow. And it may be the personnel. They rotate a lot, awful lot of offensive yeah. linemen in there, and maybe it's not the ones in there. I don't know what's going on with it, but they got to get that cleaned up. Because if Union Pines is doing that, Richmond and Scotland are definitely yeah, going to take a crack at it. Man. And there's nobody coming off the edge. It's coming right up the middle. All right, 8.04 to go, 46 to nothing, Lee County. Five failed conversion attempts. Four of them blocked and one of them pulled to the left. We're a fit with a 50 point game. Yes, sir. Your math math skills are not. Yeah, hey, cool. I'm right there, man. I'm right there. You big Alan Jackson fan, Jerry? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hernandez hey. to kick. It is a high spinner. Going to be fielded by Ortega just outside the 10. Dancing, dancing, dancing. Nowhere to go. All right. Pulled down at about the 22-yard line. Union Pines going backward last time through the pick six. Finkelstein to look for a better result this time out. If I had a go-to, if I had a go-to country song, you know what it would be? Talk to me. The Soggy Let Bottom Boys. The Soggy Bottom Boys. Soggy Bottom Boys. I'm not boys. familiar, man, and I'm a music guy, hey, but I'm not you, you familiar You got to go Soggy look bottom at the boys. movie, Oh, Father, Where Art Thou? Okay, all right. Go look at that movie, Soggy Bottom Boys. All right, I'm down. I'm doing Constant that Constant Sorrow. All right, Constant Sorrow. Constant Sorrow. I'm, I'm doing that this evening. You got to no check doubt. it out, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send it to you. All right, clock is running 720. North Carolina high school rules, 40-point game. The clock runs except on changes of possession. Finkelstein, hands, nowhere to go for the ball carrier. I believe that was number four, Caleb Milton, with his first carry of the night. Yes, that was him. Caleb Milton, an impressive specimen. 6'2", 185, plays corner. They're starting to work him into the offense. He's part of the future of this squad. We talked earlier in the pregame about Union Pines, 46 freshmen in the in the yes, JV program. Um, I actually coached, talked to Lee County coach Steve Bordeaux about that. And he's mm -hmm. like, man, it's a it's an oppressive group that's out there. So the future is bright here at Union Pines. Oh, ball on the ground. And looks ball like that's going the other way. Yes, it is. Lee Another County. turnover for Lee County. They're going to get it deep in the Union Pines end, set up just outside the REMAX red zone, 623. Woo. I did not expect, you know, I, I, I did not ex quite expect this. No. Outcome. No, but I'm going to tell you right now, this is the worst-case scenario. You are seeing a lot of hands on hips and a lot of – Gimpy, oh yeah, sort of limping around over there on that side. They've got a lot of guys playing a lot of football over there on Union Pines, going both ways, and this is turning into a mess. We see B.J. Brown may have came out the game for tonight. We see Jermaine Banks in at tailback. All right, Banks, a completely different style runner. 
runs with his entire body. Whole body. Down there close to the five-yard line. That'll be a Shed Depot first down inside the REMAX red zone, and I agree with you. I think we might see B.J. Brown done for the evening. I said it a couple weeks ago, and I wish I had a better um, example or uh, likeness, mm -hmm. but Jermaine Banks' running style reminds <laughs> me very much of O.J. Simpson. <laughs> Whole body. Yep. There he goes. Who else? Oh, oh, who's this? Ooh. That was dangerous. Oh, I hope he gets up. Yes, he does. Oh, he's Boy. Up. Man, I tell you what, if somebody bent me over backwards like that, I'd be dead. Yeah. That was scary. Banks got bent around there at the end, but he hops out of there because he's young, spry, and flexible. <laughs> Just like you, Jerry Chalmers. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done, Chris. But well, we're going to have this race, though. I'm down. We're I mean, you, you spent the entire halftime crying about your ankle. Oh, my God. Telling me these stories about your ankle. I'm not trying to hear it, man. We're going to do this. this. We're going to do this. And, and, and the going. date. So, you said the Richmond game. You went all the way to October to get ready? Well, I won't even be there. <laughs> oh, come on. That's Banks. <laughs> well, I hope no, Celestia pulls it. And he is in there. Touchdown, Touchdown. Lee County. 52 I to nothing, what. Lee County. I'm ready at the next home game. Schlesinger. Faked me out. All right, next home game for Lee County is Pinecrest on October 7th. I'm ready. We have got plenty of time to make this happen. I'm ready. I mean, we can go do this tonight after this game. We're going to raise a couple we dollars. We can get here. down there tonight. We're going to raise a couple. I mean, you're crying about your ankle. I can't well, beat I, you tonight because you're going to be like, well, it's my ankle. No, I'm still going to win. All right, Tim Copas. I'm still going to win. We got to raise We, we got to raise some money. Okay. You know what? We're going to raise some money for East Lee. I'm with, I'm with it. I'm with it. Football program. I'm with it. We will put that up on social media. Yes. We are going to raise those dollars. I'm with it. And there's blocks say like again. Three. I want to say four four hundred we did last year. No, it was more than that. You talking that. about? You talking about for the trip? No, it was more than that for the it trip. Was, I gave yeah. that much yeah, myself. You sure did. Um. Well, I tell you what, Chris. Let's put it on social media. Let's let's see what we can. Let's do. get it kicking. Let's see what we can do. I'm with it. I'm with it. All right. 40 yards. 40 yards. Huh? Okay. All right. We're going to go back to Pat McCracken with the Union Pines cheerleaders, who I think just blocked another kick. I think it was the cheerleaders that were out there to block it. That was the fifth block of the night. Pat, talk to us, buddy. Hey, Chris and Jerry, man, what a great night to be on the sidelines of the Jackets here. We're, we're with the Lee County uh, cheerleaders, and uh, these girls have been traveling with the team. They're away again next week, and there's an off date, and then the Jackets come home in about three more weeks. So we need to make sure that Lee County Jackets have is. a packed house when they return home to welcome the football team and the cheerleaders. If we can, can you cheerleaders give us one big shout-out for Lee County High School football? Chris and Jerry, back to you guys. Thank you. All right, 52 Lee County, zero Union Pines. I'm going to have to email Mr. McCracken. Um, he's trying to steal my job, I, Chris. I, I, hey, I and he's doing a good he, job. He's doing a fantastic job. That ball was on the ground and woo -hoo -hoo -hoo, just creeps Almost out on the, the sideline. That's by design. Ortega taking a chance, but it bounces out of there. Clock running at 250. So the die is cast. Uh, the gauntlet is tossed down. We will make this on social media. we yes. got to come up with a good tagline for it. Yes. But Jerry Chalmers and I, and, and I want everybody at home to know, right up front, I'm 10 years Jerry Sr. Don't start giving excuses. I'm not giving excuses. Come I'm just on, I'm making it going to be all that more dramatic and worthwhile <laughs> when I smoke you. I'm <laughs> running backwards. I'm going to start drinking, you know, <laughs> raw eggs in the morning, chasing chickens in the back. Man. I got this. Man. I'm back. I have pedaling. got this 100%. And I think I'm going to do it barefoot. Uh, that's cheating. All right. No, that's not cheating, man. Uh, I'm going barefoot, right, too. 11, Finkelstein, hands. There's Milton with the carry. And that ball is out. It's ripped Again. right out of there. And that is Isaiah McKendall, who's having a game of his life. He stripped that right out of there. Didn't even touch the ball carry. Just went straight after the ball. He comes out of there. And yet another turnover. <laughs> and it's going from bad to worse. And Milton down. Hopefully everything is okay over there. 
while they tend to Caleb Milton. We'll take a quick break. You're watching the NFHS Gaming League 52 to nothing, Lee County. We'll see you on the other side. Are you ready to sell your home and don't know which realtor to choose? Well, not all realtors are the same. I'm Crystal Copas, and I don't just stick a sign in the yard, throw it in the MLS, and hope to collect a commission. I provide a customized marketing plan that includes professional staging, photography, videography, and drone at no cost to you. Contact me, Crystal Copas, with Remax Real Estate Service, and let's get your house sold. 919-356-5402 or visit me at crystalcopas.com. All right, Caleb Melton was able to come off the field under his own power running clock. One, one and a half minutes to go. Jermaine Banks still in there at tailback for Lee County. I think we've seen the last of B.J. Brown, who finished the night with one of those lines. There's Banks around the left side. Cuts it inside and oh. grabbed by his face mask and keeps his feet. How do you stay up on your feet after getting snatched around like that? And listen, man. They're going to be 15 yards on the end of that. That'll take half the distance already inside the REMAX red zone. That'll take him down to about the nine-yard line after that face mask is assessed. So I'm going to tell you how different Jermaine, Jermaine Banks is. Oh, my goodness. They got a hold, too. I think they're going to. Oof. Why he's able to withstand someone grabbing his face mask, staying on his feet. Wait, what? <laughs> I didn't see that. Wait, I what? can't believe that. This is crazy. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <coughs> well, well, all right. There was a hold on the play, apparently, and nobody on the field saw the face mask. That's yeah. pretty amazing. All right, first and 20. So a fun fact about Jermaine Banks. All right. His and father, I think Lee County, Lee, well, Lee County may get a playoff. Go ahead, finish your story. We'll, his we'll run father, he's, he's different. You ever seen someone play a video game called video game with an upside down controller? Shut up. And he is very good. Now, does he play with it right side up too, or that's no. just the way he plays with it upside down? Upside down. That's it. And he's very good. What's his game of choice? I would say probably the PS5. I know when we were little, when we were younger, our favorite game was Joe Montana football. I remember Joe Montana Do you remember football? Joe Montana? Man, that was the game. The 49ers was the best team on the game by far. I remember. So all time, if you set Madden aside, because Madden's in a different yes. class, what's your favorite football game of all time? Joe Montana. Okay, all right. Joe Montana. I'm going to go with the original. Tech Mobile. No, Tech Mobile was what? Tech Mobile was fun. Yeah. But Tech Mobile, once you, I mean, who, first of all, whoever had the Raiders is going to win because you did stop Bo Jackson. Well, you got to remember Christian O'Coy at that time with Kansas City was yeah. really, really good, he too. He really was. But at the same time, every yeah, time Bo you Jackson. ran that sweep with Bo Jackson, he was going to score a touchdown. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. my go-to game, my all-time favorite game, probably the original NCAA football, the Bill okay. Walsh NCAA okay, football okay, before okay. they had the licensing. Okay. That game was pretty dope. And I'm going to tell you a, a trick that I figured out that nobody else seemed to know, yeah. and I could beat anybody, is after the play, you could go hit somebody after the whistle, and uh -huh. you could hit them four or five times and knock them down. Well, what it did was it moved their energy meter down every time you hit them, but nobody ever realized that. So I'd come in, and even if I didn't sack you, I'd hit yeah. your quarterback four or five times. Put him out. And then he'd be down at zero energy and makes do something stupid <laughs> moving forward. Never, Nobody ever figured it out. Never knew that. Yeah. Never knew that. That was my game. But I am a, I am a sports game nut. Right now I'm hooked on MLB, the show. Yeah. They finally put it back on the Xbox, thankfully. And, uh, yeah, I'm, a, I'm straight addicted to it. I have a PS5, and it's, it's been a paperweight lately. Really? Yeah. I Probably don't, good man. that you're doing grown-up things more productive man. than playing video games all the time. Uh, you know, between football and, and and having a beauty queen, I don't know what I can do. You know? Yeah. I went from a football dad to a dance beauty pageant dad. Well, you know. Yeah. You know. I, have, I, I have raised a lot of children. Yeah. The house is empty now. <laughs> I can do whatever you I want. You can do whatever you want. And, you know, I tried meditation. Yeah. I'm too ADD to meditate. <laughs> so if I sit and get quiet, it's good. If everything is pitch black and there's no noise. Right. But if 
the dog moves around out in the room or I hear something, I'm like, what, what, what was that? And I, it breaks it for me. And there goes Jermaine Banks having a, a hey. nice little run here. Hey. All right, he's going to pick up about 23 on the carry. Jermaine Banks running hard. Yes, sir. But my thing with meditation is, is as soon as, you know, I'm distracted by something, it's done, it's and I good. have to kind of get back to it. But with those video games? Oh, yeah. Man, I can sit around for an hour or two, dude, and just yeah. turn the brain off, and it's good. And I think it's therapeutic for me. That's, that's the story yeah. I tell my wife anyway. If I – when I was playing – when I was playing, I was playing God of War. Okay. And it, it was – I, I kind of like games on that end. And then, of course, basketball, football. Of course. But God of War has to be my favorite game. I hear you. I miss the day. So in the, the formative years of playing Madden Online, mm -hmm. I, was a, I was a monster. Um, and then, you know, everybody always figures out some cheats and this, that, the other. And these days, it just doesn't – it's not fun playing online for yeah. me. So I like games where you can play the computer and there's more challenges yeah. and stuff going yeah. on. That's the MLB right now speaks to me. These kids, you know, these kids will whoop your behind in these games, I know. Man. Oh, I have no Ooh, doubt. Well, man. now you say that, though, but I'll tell you what. There have been plenty of times, and uh -huh. I can't tell you, that two, on two different occasions, yeah. my daughter's brought somebody home yeah. that, that, that had the audacity to say something about the yeah, Xbox. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. they got their feelings hurt because I played them in NCAA or Madden and just completely yeah. destroyed them. They're like, what is this old dude? How does he? Man, I'm like, dude, I, yeah. Yeah. I might as well have designed the game. I've been yeah. playing it since the first versions. I remember in 88 when Madden came out and I had my first experience Where's with it. And I was like, oh, my gosh. All right, Jack Martin getting another one of those quarters. He's got yes, five so far this year. This will be his sixth quarter. He's got yes, two sir. more. <coughs> I'm a little surprised they've got him in there. I like I, Well, yeah. I'm a little surprised just because. If he's pressed into service in the next couple of weeks, he can get to eight, and then he doesn't get to play yeah. JV anymore, and they need those JV reps for him. Agreed, agreed. All right, Hernandez, this has been the worst night of his life. Can, is it all his fault? Five, no, it's not his fault at I all. I definitely don't think so. I mean, the pressure's coming right up the gut. Five blocked, one missed. That one is up, and that one is good. I think that's the second one he's hit. I'm not even yeah. sure. 8.36, clock runs 59 to nothing Lee County. Wow. Well, Coach Trisdale from the Union Pines Vikings told me he thought these 3A teams, Scotland and Lee County, specifically who he was talking about, were the class of this division or this conference. That remains to be seen. But Lee County, man, woof. Well, right and, now. And, and, you know, now let's, let's be clear, too. Yeah. Lee County started out. Northwood, you know, you look at it and you're like 53 to 20. Most programs are happy. They were not happy with that at all. Yeah. You know, that's the team they beat 61 to nothing the year before. Then they go with Overhills, and Overhills gave them everything they wanted. Yes, Lee sir. County escaped Overhills with a victory 21-14. Yeah. That South Granville game, they looked really good for three and a half quarters. Yeah. Fell apart at the end. But even that wasn't a complete offensive performance. Agreed. They started to get it rolling. Then they go up to Virginia, play that Mecklenburg County 48 yeah. to nothing. Now you come back and you got 59 to nothing with seven and a half to go. Lee County getting rolling right at the right time. That's the right time. And they kind of eased their way into this conference yeah, schedule. they did. They get Union Pines, which is one of the <coughs> smaller schools first. They get Hope County next. Well, Hope County right now is tied. Scotland 21-21. Look out now. Southern Lee down 24-10 to Richmond. All right, Lee County going to get a test with 4A Hope on the road next week. We're, we'll be riding to Rayford. Flag down. So Lee County the rest of the way has got Hope County then Pinecrest, and then they've got back-to-back -back Richmond, Ooh. Scotland, and then, of course, the Brick City Bowl at the end of the year. Okay. No let-up, including that final week against Southern Lee, because Southern Lee, regardless of what else happened, they will be gunning for them. Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely. And I tell you, Coach Mike McLean over there, he's a tough guy. Yeah. He has thick skin. And I met Very Coach Blanks over there for the first time the other day. Yeah. And if you think Coach Mike McClain is a tough guy, <laughs> Coach Coach Blanks, he had me scared. Yeah. 
<laughs> that is a hard man. He yes, is a no nonsense fella. Oh yeah. With a fantastic beard, by the way. Hadn't met him yet. He is a he is a tough guy. All right, now we got a change of kicker in there kicking Sebastian Avila, the junior with the kickoff. I think that's the first time he's put foot to football that I'm aware of. All right, Union Pines desperately want to get on the board before they get out of here. A lot of new numbers on the field right now. All right, Jerry, we talked about Lee County. You know, this team, where they stack up against the 2019 team, that's sort of the gold standard over the last 10 or 15, 20, 30 years at Lee County. We really hadn't seen a performance that was complete. Now in back-to-back -back weeks, we got two pretty doggone good yeah. performances by this squad. What's the ceiling for these guys? Nice delivery there by the backup quarterback. In there at quarter, well, and is that ball out? Nope, just a gang of tacklers there. This. In at quarterback now for Union Pines, number 15, Owen St. John, senior 6'4", 190. I think the ceiling for this particular team right here is going to solely depend on senior quarterback Mark Schlesinger. Well, that's a student if, analysis, if, Jerry. If, if he can get comfortable throwing the ball as well, oof. A lot of clean jerseys in there on that Lee County defense, but no let up in the effort. And that tackle led the way slow getting up there. That is number six, Io Adesanya. Adesanya. He's kind of been overshadowed by McKendall yeah. tonight. Isaiah McKendall's had a fantastic game. the 50-50 winning raffle ticket. Number two, two, nine, two, one. One. Again, That's a nice size, number 12, Julian Best. Sophomore as well at defensive end. All right, there's the pitch. This is Shaper. Oh, man. Wow. Just a wall of defenders there. Cedric Lett in there, another sophomore for Lee County. Hey. That's the first time we've called his name this yeah. year. 70, was that 78? You got that number on there, Chris? Jamie Veal. Jamie Veal. Junior, 6'4". I'm going to say 330. Looks every bit of it. All right, St. John with three minutes to go. Third and long coming up here. I like the I like the arm, man. The first uh, first ball he threw. Mm -hmm. All right, drops it. Big big young man. Look at that. Yeah, I was saying he's down there. Overthrows everybody. But boy, I tell you, he, he, he's a nice he, size. He can sling it. Now we saw him early in the season line up at <coughs> tight end, and I was hoping to see them use him in the passing game a little bit. Yeah. Um, never really saw it. Uh, but he is a big young man, 6'4", 195. They list him, and he's a stout yeah, he's young man. Stout. And got a little got a little got a little gun on him. All right, two and a half to go, fourth and long. You got McKendall and that 29 as well, 25. All right, so we don't know who Coach Bordeaux is going to deliver to the uh, Zaxby's coaches show as players of the game, but who, who do you have as your offense and defensive players of the game, Jerry? Offense, I have to go with B.J. Brown. All right. Defense, I'd have to go with, of course, one of the Broom brothers, McKendall. I think I, I think I'm going with Isaiah McKendall there. You yeah. can make a case for uh, 14. Anthony Battle. Yeah, two in, two interceptions. Yep, including the the pick six. Yeah, but uh, I I think I got to go with McKendall. Two forced fumbles. A gang of tackles. So this is the JV, mostly JV players right now, touching the field for well, the county. Well, it's that time of year. They've got these these guys up there trying to get some looks on the varsity for some of these young men. All right, going the other way. Jack Martin, sophomore in at quarterback. 
interesting debate to be had moving into the future. Oh, and they're going to take a knee. I'm a little surprised they didn't get him a rep or two. Inside a minute, we'll do this one or two more times here, and we'll go on to the house. Stick around for the post-game show. It'll be brief, and we will make our way to the parking lot. But Jack Martin, 6 of 7 last last week. Three touchdowns, I believe. Um, he and Jaden Hill going to be in a pitched battle next summer to see who the starting quarterback is going to be. We will see. But for now, Mark Schlesinger, the senior, going to see how far he can take this Lee County team who has now moved to 5-0. and And in the last two weeks, they have outscored their opponents 107 to nothing. Both of those road games, Jerry. I think they'll be okay. Woof. <laughs> All right, we're at triple zeros okay. here in Cameron, North Carolina. We'll go straight to the post-game show as soon as Wynn decides it's appropriate. At Ace, your backyard is right in our backyard. So when you need to feed your grass, remove the weeds, or wrangle those leaves, go to the best place that delivers on top brands like Ego, Toro, and Steel. You can also order online for curbside pickup or get what you need delivered today. Around the block, what you need in stock with people who know their lawn care. Visit Randy and Jill Saunders or Kathy Thompson in Southern Pines or Seven Lakes. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. At the Shed Depot of North Carolina, we believe there's a better way to buy a shed, where all the selection, all the quality, and all the service are in one convenient location to make your buying experience easy. Our three-acre sales center has over 60 sheds in stock, and if you don't see what you need, our sales experts can guide you through the custom design process to meet your unique needs. Get started today at ShedDepotNC.com. Everything Pines Realty presents the Post Game Show on the NFHS Network. Brought to you by New Image Media. All right, welcome to the Everything Pines Post Game Show. 56 to nothing, your final score here in Cameron, Lee County. The Yellow Jackets over the Union Pines Vikings. Man, tough night. Tough night. Tough night. Tough night. This was, uh, this was, all Lee County from the jump. Union Pines really never got on track yeah. on, uh, on offense and on defense just had no answer for the Lee County running game. Lee County, not a whole lot of balance in the offense, but they did stretch field a couple of times. Saw a big touchdown to um, – who caught the long touchdown? Peoples caught one and uh, – Yeah, it was. Isaiah Peoples got it down the field and then Kendall Morris on the yes. other end with the long catch down inside the red zone. So – that's what we asked for. We wanted to see more in that vertical passing game. We got it. The screen game is starting to come together. They're more efficient there. They've got that kind of cleaned up. And Union Pine's a tough team to screen against True. because these kids came up through a system where they were seeing screen all the time. Yes. They know their keys. They know how to defend it. The performance here, we really didn't see any problems with the screen game. Right. Early in the season, first couple weeks, wasn't really clean. We also saw maybe the most important thing. We saw Schlesinger give up on some plays. I, and I, I like it. That's what it I takes. Like Sometimes it. you just got to bail, throw that thing out of bounds, come back. You've got too many weapons on offense to go out there and make a bad play. So really impressed with Lee County on defense, no criticism. Right. I mean, you, you, you had some explosive athletes out here, the Vikings, Lee County, they just did their they thing. Played a good, they, Lee County played all around. Outside of special teams, they played a great game tonight. Yeah, going to have to get in the lab with regard yeah. to that, uh, that extra point squad. If it was anything that I would be upset about of Coach Birdo is the special team. Yeah, I've seen a lot of football. I've never seen a game where there were never. five blocked conversion attempts ever never. in my life. And I've seen a lot, a lot of high school football games. Um, and then you throw a miss in there, too. That's six missed conversions. Yes. Um, and probably says something about coaches, Coach Bordeaux's attitude about it, that he made him keep going out there instead of folding up and going yeah. for two. Um, they're going to work that out. I, I think that'll be a, a, a point of emphasis here for the next week or two. All right, Hope County for, for Lee County next week. Union Pines looking to right the ship. It doesn't get any easier for them. They got a, a heck of a stretch of games coming up. <coughs> <laughs> but <laughs> Coach Truesdale, 
He will get in there. They will dissect this film. They will get back at it. A good, smart group of football players out here. They're not going to get beat 59 to nothing too many agree, times. No. Won't happen at the end of the season. All right. Jerry, any last thoughts? Um, no. Just ready for some next. i tell you what I do have a last thought. What's that? Speaking of replacements, I think someone may be trying to replace me as the on the field, but it's not going to happen. All right. So we, we, I'm not giving we, it up. We, we decided that on defense we think Isaiah McKendall was the, the Lee County player of the week. Yes. On offense, we're going to go with B.J. Brown. Yes, I agree. We're still not 100% certain that he got over that 234 and a half. I'm pretty we'll, sure we'll he definitely that, did. Though. But definitely. I have two trophies to give. First yes. of all, MVP, Union Pines Marching Band. They did a fantastic Killed job. It. They are amazing. And Killed Pat it. McCracken, first time out of the gate. Yeah. Accustomed to doing the PA announcing. Hey, man. man, you put a microphone and a headset on. He did a great did job, man. Thing. Killed it. All Killed right. It, so, great job, Pat. Great job with the production staff. This is Chris. That's Jerry. This has been the NFHS Game of the Week. This specifically <laughs> was the Everything Pines post-game show. We appreciate all our sponsors. We will see you guys next week from Rayford mm-hmm. as Jerry and I are on the road. Um, looking forward to it, brother. We'll I'm see ready. you then. All right. We are out. Buy your next new or used car the way you want to buy with the Pinehurst Toyota Smart Buy Program. Visit PinehurstToyota.com and choose or build the vehicle you want. Try the Pinehurst Toyota Smart Buy. It's the easiest way to buy your next new or used car. We took our signature sandwich and pumped up the base. With bacon and cheese, it's the new signature club. Remix by Zaxby's. Thank you.